end around play with Landon Dixon, 45 yards, and then Dougie, five touchdowns, and just shy of 200 yards rushing. Yeah, I thought Landon was explosive when he got the ball around the edge. We're trying to get Landon the ball in a few different uh, ways, in a few different areas on the field, punt return. Some more in type in some of those jet type jet sweep type runs, and then even some in the passing game. Uh, and obviously, Dougie's Dougie. He's been doing it for years, and uh, you have to shout out to the other line who's playing well and, and creating some space for him. So, would have liked to be able to throw the ball a little bit more. Uh, things got out of hand pretty quick, so it was hard to sit back and work on some things we wanted to do in the passing game. It just didn't feel like it'd be fair to Bland. Defensively, you held Bland to minus three yards of total offense there in that first half, and that's with your first team before they were taken out for the second half with the big lead. And then you had the pick six there from Joshua Sperl, and that was huge as well. Yeah, our defense has been solid. And, you know, games we've won is, is when they show up and, and do a heck of a good job for us. And uh, been solid all year. I thought we made plays in the backfield, uh, certainly early in the game that created some turnovers. And uh, been solid in the run game, and we'll certainly have to be that this week. Uh, and then Josh did a heck of a job on that, dropped into coverage, read it out, and, and saw the play and broke on it and made a nice return on that. What were you most proud of in that big victory? I was proud of Todd Key. I thought he stepped into the line and did a nice job when he came in. I was really happy for him. Uh, certainly happy for Santana and Nick Sawyers to get in there and, and do some really nice things running the football for us. Thought I, Isaac Hawk's been playing better and better on both sides of the ball, so it was good to see him. He's really come on on the offensive side. And I think Andrew Belcher's development at center continues to impress me. And Santana had a touchdown run there late in that ball game, about 39 yards, I believe, a rushing score. So it's good to see that, bringing him up from the JV level. So that adds a whole other dynamic. Yeah, it really does. I was happy for Santana. He ran hard. He did what he was asked to do. He's worked hard. Uh, certainly here, since he's moved up, he's, he's really grinded in the weight room and just proud for him to take advantage of his opportunity. Now you get ready for a matchup here tonight with Grayson County. And how have you prepared for this matchup this week and evaluate the of this team? What can you share with us on Grayson County? It's a tough matchup for us. They match up much in the way Northside and Glenver does. It's probably the only two teams that I can compare them to, so it's a really difficult matchup uh, for us because they're really big and physical and strong inside of where we like to run. We're going to concern and watch in film. And then what they do offensively, obviously everybody talks about the passing game, but their ability to run the ball is, it scares me just as much as their passing game. So. I just think it's a it's a tough matchup for us in general. We're going to have to play really well. And it is a rivalry game, too. And then the fact that they're trying to make the playoffs, trying to get that eighth spot in the 2A rankings. Yeah, I think it's always fun, this being the last game of the year, because of the rivalry and all the kids know each other. And certainly there's excitement uh, for the last game. And then when you add the added pressure of a playoff game, which is what they're playing for, uh, certainly increases the stakes. And, and certainly understand how bad they want to win it. And they're always well prepared. I think this year's the first year in several that they can match up across the board and they definitely can match up and then some so uh the challenge is huge, that's for sure. It's a great game for us to be playing going into the playoffs. Whether we win or lose, it's the type of game I like to have. It's just be big and physical, and we're going to have to play teams like this if we want to have a chance to, to advance. So I love where it falls in the season. And that passing game will have to open up, I'm sure, this week, too, and, and the challenges are going to be there all night long. Yeah, we'll definitely need to be able to throw the ball, that's for sure. We won't be able to just line up and, and, and pound away at it. It'll be much more like it was in the north side and Glenberg game where we'll have to be able to do things to spread them out and uh, make sure we can get some people out of the box where we are able to run it some. So we'll have to be more diverse offensively than we've been uh, in the last several weeks. And that's a byproduct of we're probably averaging three plays a score before we score in the last couple of weeks. And it's hard because we're not, we're putting up a lot of points, but we're not getting and a lot of reps. So a lot of things we've been working on, we haven't been able to do. The good thing is we have been working on it. So what will it take ultimately for a Maroon Tide victory? Uh, we'll have to match their physicality. We'll have to establish the run game somehow, some way, and then we'll have to stop the run for them and try to make them one-dimensional and pass only. I think whoever wins in the trenches has, has definitely got an advantage this week. And I think it's probably the first week since Northside that it's not clear-cut that we'll be better up front. And so the challenge is huge for the offense and defensive lines. Head coach Mark Dixon here as we get you set for kickoff tonight between Galax and Grayson County. Good luck tonight, coach. Thanks.
The colder months are upon us. It's time to take your vehicle to Twin County Tire and Automotive today. Let their knowledgeable and friendly staff winterize your vehicle and get you a new set of tires for the winter months to keep you safe. Twin County Tire and Automotive is your locally owned and operated full service facility offering all major brands for all makes and models. Trustworthy, honest, and fair, Twin County Tire and Automotive will give you the best deal on tires. Twin County Tire. Iron Automotive, downtown Galax, right across from the police department. Call 276-236-0007. That's 276-236-0007. I'm Hal Lepperson, voice of your Galax Maroon. Tell you about my favorite restaurant in town, RJ's Pizza and Subs. They keep their menu as fresh as their ingredients, so you always have something new to try. Featuring the best pizza in town, mouth-watering pastas, subs to fill any size appetite, salads with an abundance of fresh vegetables and an array of appetizers. RJ's Pizza and Subs, 1006 East Stewart Drive in Galax, open Monday through Saturday for lunch and dinner. Dine with them today or for a takeout, call 276-236-8444. Order online at rjpizza.com. Some of the most enjoyable activities that can be experienced are simple ones. A ride down a country road, a delicious meal, a glimpse into culture from long ago, and the music of the mountains. These are some of the simple pleasures you can experience with a visit to Galax, Virginia. To learn more about the many fun things to do in Galax, stop by the Visitor Center at 110 East Grayson Street or visit us on the web at visitgalax.com. Visitgalax.com. That's visitgalax.com. We are a proud sponsor of Maroon Tide Athletics and wish all of our sports teams the best of luck and go Tide. Welcome you back here to Independence, and congratulations to Michelle Ward. She's taking home this week's Chick-fil-A Maroon Tide Family Tailgate Package as we were looking for the winner of the game in 2011. The last time the two teams were undefeated facing off with each other, Galax won that one 21-6. So they went into the playoffs undefeated all the way to the state championship undefeated before they were upended by Clint Wood, a heartbreaking loss in their first ever state title game appearance. So congratulations, Michelle. A winner of this week's Maroon Tide Family Tailgate Package. Compliments of Chick-fil-A. All right, now time for your starting lineups brought to you by High Country Services. Funerals and Cremations, located at 600 Glendale Road in Galax, provided Galax and the Twin County area with the most modern funeral home at the lowest prices in southwest Virginia. So bringing a new tradition to funeral care by creating meaning, meaningful, unique services designed just for you and your family for the lowest possible price. Able to treat everyone equally without having... You negotiate with other funeral homes for a more affordable price. It's a winning combination, best service at the lowest price. Experience the difference today in funeral and cremation care at High Country Services. Call us at 276-236-9009. That's 276-236-9009 to see how we can save your family hundreds of dollars for funeral and cremation care without jeopardizing service. Visit highcountryservices.com. HighCountryService.com. Let's meet our Maroon Tide starters as the players introduce themselves. Eagles, number one, I play running back and linebacker and senior. Joshua Spellman, number three, wide receiver and defensive back, 5'9", 140, and junior. Levi Reynolds, number four, linebacker, 6'4", 200 pounds. Captain Ball, number five, corner, 5'7", 165 pounds, and junior. Dylan Grayson, 7th, H, 5'10", 190, grade 10. Cole Pickett, number eight, quarterback, 6'3", 185, freshman. Ethan Robinson, number nine, defensive back, 5'11", 145, first back. Michael Robert, number 10, outside linebacker, 5'11", 160, 12th guard. Landon Dixon, number 11, defensive back, 5'9", 143, junior. Blake Brown, 14, running back, safety, 5'8", 165, junior. Keaton Beaton, 20, running back and safety, 5'8", 169. My name's Noah Hudson. Number 23, I'm a tight end and outside linebacker. I'm 6'2", 205 pounds, and I'm a senior. Kobe Barnes, number 33, middle linebacker, 6'1", 180 pounds, freshman. John Key, number 50, offensive line, 5'10", 220, senior. Isaac Hawks, 53, O-line, 6 foot, 200 pounds, 5th grade. Lee Peoples, number 55, O-line, D-6 foot, 225, sophomore. Christian Brown, number 69, offensive line, D-line, 5'7", 250.
Custom Collision and Custom Paint, your hometown specialist for collision repair and custom paint projects. With their computerized estimates, you will easily understand all of your car's needs. Their technicians are experienced and trained using today's technology. A frame machine with computerized measuring and two bank cycle paint booths enables them to get your vehicle back to factory condition. Isom Collision, located one mile from I-77 between Jeff Johnson Chevrolet and Horizon Rental. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Call 276-728-4330 to schedule an appointment today. That's 276-728-4330. Isom Collision and Custom Paint supporting Todd Pride. High Country Service Funerals and Cremations located at 600 Glendale Road, Galax, Virginia. Providing the Galax and Twin County area with the most modern funeral home at the lowest prices in Southwest Virginia. High Country Service brings to you a new tradition in funeral care by creating meaningful, unique services designed just for you and your family for the lowest possible price. Because High Country Services offers you the most affordable services in funeral care, we are able to treat everyone equally without you having to negotiate from other funeral homes a more affordable price. It's a winning combination. Best service at the lowest Price. Isn't it time you experience the difference in funeral and cremation care at High Country Services? Call us today at 276-236-9009 to see how we can save your family hundreds of dollars for funeral and cremation care without jeopardizing service. Visit us at our web and Facebook pages. High Country Services is a proud sponsor of the Galax High School Maroon Tide Athletic Program and a supporter to bring you the broadcast for your enjoyment. Bait tailgating, team celebrations, parties, and other occasions extra special with Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the easy choice, offering a selection of fresh, delicious food and party platters for your occasion and guests. Chick-fil-A ensures that your order is correct, ready to be picked up or delivered. Put your game face on and score big at your next tailgate party event with crowd-pleasing favorites from your tailgating headquarters. Chick-fil-A, Highway 601 in Mount Airy. Chick-fil-A, Evo Chicken. Keys Incorporated has been serving our community for 25 years with prompt professional service. Keys Incorporated has complete septic service like pump and repair, and we manufacture septic tanks. See us for excavation and land clearing, ditching and ponds, site prep, installation of new tanks and field lines, and sewer line repairs. Keys Incorporated has same-day service to commercial and residential customers in Galax, the Twin Counties, and surrounding area. Call Keys Incorporated at 270. 2-7-6-2-3-6-9-2-7-7. That's 276-236-9277. Blue Ridge Tire and Galax supports all we want your family safe and protected while traveling, so let Blue Ridge Tire take care of all your automotive needs. New tires, tire maintenance, tune-ups, inspections to overall maintenance. You will appreciate the great service, affordability, and dedication of Blue Ridge Tire, your hometown garage chosen number one in the Twin Counties for auto repair and oil changes. Call Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive, 276-238-0011. That's 276-238-0011. Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive in Galax. Mountain Linen Services is your company serving Galax, the Twin Counties, and the surrounding area. Mountain Linen Services specializes in towels, aprons, gowns, kitchen apparel, dust control items like mops, and doorway entrance mats. We even do tablecloth rentals for weddings and special occasions. Give Mountain Linen Services a call at 276-236-0141. That's 276-236-0141. 276-236-0141. Mountain Linen Services, a proud sponsor of Galax Maroon Tide athletics and our local sports broadcast. Tell them your WCGX sports team sent you. Back to Independence, tail end of the national anthem there. And tonight's pregame interview and scouting the opponent segment was brought to you by Aunt B's Restaurants, serving you in five locations, Galax, Hillsville, and here in Independence. They're right across the road from us here, Grayson County High School. 
Also, Mount Airy and Pilot Mountain, North Carolina, Aunt B's has been in business for 33 years, has delicious home-cooked meals, daily specials, famous breakfast served all day, mouth-watering hickory smoked barbecue, fresh catfish tenders, hamburger steak plates, catering service, special name brand jellies, ice cream, milkshakes, sundaes, and more. And that is comfort food made quick. All right, Aunt B's pregame interview and scouting the opponent with head coach Mark Dixon. It's now time for your keys to the game, brought to you by Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive. Take your car to Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive today, 1101 South Main Street, Galax, Virginia. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 530. And for an appointment, you can call 276-238-0011. 276-238-0011 for Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive. So, Tim. All right, give us uh, offensively, defensively, the keys to tonight's matchup, and then uh, the Maroon Tide's focus here to try to pull out a victory tonight. Well, for offense, on the offensive side of the ball, the communication is key. Must win the battle in the trenches, be disciplined, must establish a passing game and play smart, set the tempo and score early and often. The defensive side of the ball bring pressure, don't let them make plays on their feet. Force turnovers, avoid missed tackles. On the focus of the game, just for Grayson will be fighting to keep its playoff berth tonight. So play smart, stay disciplined, taking care of the ball. We'll come out on top. Yeah, I think Galax does have an edge in this game, but you, you can't come in here um, and not overlook. You, I mean, you cannot overlook your opponent tonight, the Blue Devils, because they're here, they're going to feed off the home crowd. This is a rivalry game. And there's playoff implications on the line. The playoffs start tonight for Grayson County, technically, because they're borderline right there uh, trying to get that eighth seed in the playoffs. Well, anytime you have um, the records don't matter in a rivalry game because there's just a lot of emotion out there on the field tonight. These guys all know each other, and that makes a big difference in how everything plays out. Uh, and Galax, big, big thing that uh, Mark Dixon said that is extremely important is they've scored so quickly on offense. If any team challenges that, it makes it more of a challenge to establish a drive, go down the field, do those types of things, and that makes a very big difference on how that will play and have an effect. And so you have that rivalry game, one turnover, two turnovers, makes you know a young Galax team could be against the ropes at the end of the game. Let's hope it's not the case, but it might be the case, so you just have to be ready for it. All right, tonight's kickoff is brought to you by the City of Galax Parks and Recreation Department, proud sponsor of the Maroon Tide football kickoff, and they are located at 601 South Main Street. City of Galax Parks and Recreation would like to invite everyone to stop by and enjoy the many new programs and activities that they have to offer for kids, adults, and seniors. 2017 Fall and Winter Program brochure can be downloaded at galax-parksrec.com. Or for more information, call 276-236-3218. Kick is away. It's a short kick. Return up the middle. Here goes the return, man. Slides free of several tackles. Gets to the 40-yard line, but he is going to be brought down. Wrestled down there. Grayson County's got good field position moving left to right across your radio dial. And we'll have it on the far hash marks here to start their opening drive. Dagley Peoples makes a good kick. Uh, uh, tackle. <laughs> there at the 40-yard line. Um, one of the last defenders there for that Grayson County. Uh, returner as he was running up the field. Good play by Dougie Peoples. Hollingsworth drops under center with a split backfield, a receiver out wide, has a snap, running play up the cut, powering his way forward, banging off defenders goes the ball carrier, running in between the hash marks, and he's going to pick up seven yards. It'll be second down and three coming up here for the Blue Devils. Yeah, a lot of different misdirections that, that Grayson likes to play with. And uh, that's where Galax going to have to stay home on certain parts of the field uh, just so they don't gash them too big on the runs. Only Grayson County is fired up. Split backfield, a receiver to the near side. Quarterback Hollingsworth dropped under center. Will quickly give. The ball carrier is going to be stood up this time. He's fighting his way, though. Trying to keep his balance. And he's got the first down. Running behind his blockers right there. Up the gut. Move the chains. Grayson County has it right at midfield. Yeah, and they're just advancing the ball. First good um, moving of the chains and everything else. So very good. I want to say hi to Christy Bledsoe. She's going to be having a meal tonight. So she's wanting us to say, give her a shout out early this, this evening. 
First and 10, Grayson County with two wide receivers. Hollingsworth dropped under center with a split backfield. One step drop, slings it far side. Catch made, coming back to the football. And hauling it in is the receiver. On the outside, he's got the catch and was pushed out of bounds. Just shy of the first down marker. But that will uh, go for about eight yards on that pass and catch. Second down and a long two coming up here for Grayson County. Yeah, a lot of different looks so far from Grayson County as they've thrown the ball that time and um, done a few good things on the offensive side of the ball. We had one good stop so far, but let's hope we can get more than that. Tanner McPherson was the receiver that hauled that one in. 6'3", 190-pound senior. Second down and a long two from the Galax 41 for Grayson County. Hollingsworth takes the snap. Fakes, keeps it himself, tuck and run. Quarterback sneak will... Ah, it's going to be close on that option play right there. He may have got the first down. I think he took it out across the sticks. Yeah, I think he got on his there. back. Playing up tempo here is Grayson. Feeding off that crowd. No huddle offense here. 10:43 left to play in the first quarter. No huddle. score. It is, now they're gonna huddle up. First and 10, Grayson County from the Maroon Tide 39 yard line. So there's a short kick on the kickoff. Grayson County had a nice return. I think he tiptoed off about the 10 yard line and returned it to the 40. And now they're in Maroon Tide territory with a split backfield, a receiver to the near side. Hollingsworth quickly gives it to the ball carrier. He's gonna be thrown backwards, ball is stripped, but they're gonna whistle the play dead. Noah Hutchins, the linebacker, ripping that football free from the ball carrier. And boy, he was thrown back. No gain, second down and 10 for Grayson from the Galax 39-10. He definitely wasn't down on that play. They had him stood up. They must have blown the whistle before uh, Galax was able to strip it, but that was a close call right there for Grayson. Oh, I'll tell you. Hollingsworth. Dropped under center, leads the team in rushing and passing yards. Two-step drop, will heave it, near side, got a man, and batted in the air and incomplete. Well defended by Galax. And, wow, he had his hands on the football there, TM. That was Ethan Robinson, nearly came away with a pick, falling on his back. Yeah, and very lucky we didn't get caught. Uh, freeze crowd, uh, <laughs> for independence crowd wants uh, a pass interference call because he did go down. I think it was just incidental contact. Yes. But uh, boy, that should have been a pick for Galax. That's the second one. They've almost pulled a turnover <laughs> out. Defender was in stride there with the receiver. They both collided. Hollingsworth dropped under center. Split backfield. We'll send a man in motion out of the backfield. We'll line up trips to the near side, but are going to run the play to the outside. And the ball carrier is upended and taken down. Trying to cut the corner. And is brought down immediately. That's number 22, Levi Johnson, the junior. 5'8", 145 pounds. So running play there, going conservative, Tim. And now it'll set up fourth and long, and the punting unit comes out on the field to try to pin Galax deep. It was a draw play, so it was set up to look like a pass, but Galax stayed home and did a good job stopping it. Punt is away, that's a line drive kick. Will be taken from the 10 yard line. Return here by Ethan, or check that, Landon Dixon. Tries a spin move right there to throw the stiff arm and he is thrown to the turf. Twisted to a stopping point and taken down after a return of four yards. So Galax will have it first and 10 from its own 14 ball in the near hash. Tim? Oh yeah, that was a, a bad play for Galax. One of the blockers uh, let go too soon. I guess he was afraid he was get called for holding. Um, and then Landon Dixon was just feasted upon by the Grayson <laughs> defenders there. <laughs> first and 10 Galax from its own 14 ball in the near hash. 8.54 left to play in the first quarter, no score. Running play, Dougie Peoples out of the Wildcat. And he breaks free of several tackles. Keeps the legs churning and motors his way forward to the, let's see, the 25-yard line. Or he's finally taken down. That is enough for a Galax first down. Move the chains. What a play. Oh, yeah, that was a good play. Wildcat. We had run that a little bit, or quite a bit last year. When our quarterback yeah, a lot comes. last week, too. Yeah, so. Yeah. But that was a good play right there. Yeah, he got a lot of his yards out of the Wildcat last week in that 75 Back in again. Win. Yes. 
with a back on his right hip. Dougie Peoples out of the Wildcat. They'll try the jet sweep in around to the outside, and here goes Dixon with all that speed, and will be thrown into the Maroon Tide sidelines after picking up another Galax first down. What a play. You know, it's got to be frustrating being a defensive coach against Galax. Uh, you said this happened last week. I wasn't in the booth, so I didn't get to see it, and I heard a little bit of your broadcast. But, uh, you know, that's frustrating because you prep for that right up the middle in between the tackles, and then next, next you know, here you have a sweep in the round. And who's going to our first that? touchdown last week. Got a receiver out wide. Now here is the freshman, 6'3", quarterback Cole Pickett with a back on his right hip. They're stacking him up in the backfield here. Here's a running play. And trying to cut the corner to the near side is Dougie Peoples. He will be pulled down from behind after collecting one yard. Second down and nine coming up for Galax from the 43-yard line. Yeah, that, that play didn't do well because uh, the lineman wrapped up good around those legs. Always wrap up the legs. That's an extremely important way to tackle. Okay, will get that back way. in the Wildcat. Pickett is a receiver to the near side. Twin receivers. They're going to send Dixon in motion from the right to the left. Running play. Here goes Dougie Peoples dragging defenders. They pull him down by the shirt tail as he dives forward, leans out across midfield to the Grayson County 49-yard line. He's going to be about a yard and a half short of the first down, though. There's a It'll be third flag. and short here for Galax coming up. This penalty flag is going to be an unsportsmanlike, I believe, on Grayson. So dead ball personal foul penalty against the Blue Devils. That will give Galax the automatic first down and more. What happened? That running play from Peoples. Tell us at the it. end of the play, he was he was being held up and he was already on the ground and a Grayson guy comes in and kind of takes a shot at his helmet right there at the very end of the play. Could have been a face mask even, I think, because he grabbed at the face mask. But Galax is huddled up here. Let's set this up for you. After the dead ball personal foul penalty against Grayson County, it's first and 10 Galax from the Blue Devils 34-yard line ball in the near hash with seven and a half left to play in the first quarter. Pickett will send Brown in motion. We'll try the jet sweep to the outside. Penalty flags in the backfield. It'll be a false start penalty against Galax. That'll bring it back five yards. It'll be first and 10 Maroon side from the Grayson County 39 makeup call. After, well, after Coach Dixon talked to me about, about what he likes his linemen to do, it makes me understand this the procedures and the false starts. He wants his guys getting off that line quick. And so sometimes it's hard for these refs, and sometimes our guys do jump just a tad early. Twin receivers to the nearest side are going to send Brown in motion to the right, give to Peoples, and he is pulled down from behind. And that will lose a yard back to the 40. So second down and 16 coming up here for Galax from the Grayson County 40-yard line ball in between the hash marks. Grayson's doing an excellent job right there in the middle, uh, not allowing much to go up through the middle so far in, in between the tackles, and that's maybe why we have all these wrinkles on the offensive side of the ball. Pick it with a back on his right hip. We'll bark off the signals. We'll fake the jet sweep. We'll drop back to throw. He's it. Got a man. Hutchins, the tight end. And an over the shoulder grab and into the end zone. As he steps out of the tackle, get him six. Noah Hutchins from Cole Pickett, the freshman quarterback, on a oh, yard pass away. We got a penalty flag there, Lee. Yes. Wow. I think it was early. Holding. Bring it back. Home crowd loves it, but uh, oh, that's it's terrible. That, was that one, that was one nice. of the best passes I've seen him throw this I year. I agree, and double coverage down the field, too, we might add. And that is frustrating. But Dixon wants to open up the passing game here tonight, and that's one of our keys. Scalax does need to establish it, and that shows we can do that right well, here tonight. All this has to be established so that at different levels in the playoff, everybody can do what they need to do. We'll set it up for you. Second down and long to go here. It'll be second down and 26 for the Maroon side. Running play. Galax with a draw. Dougie People slamming it forward. And he's going to pick up uh, there about 
two, maybe three yards, I think. It'll be third and long regardless. Scalax will need to cross the Grayson County 24 for a first down, to be exact of it. We'll need a so third and 19 coming up here for Galax with 6.02 left to play here in the first quarter and no score between Galax and Grayson County. So third and 19 from the 43, ball in between the hash marks. Pickett will drop to under center this time with an offset I formation backfield and twin receivers on the outside. Pickett takes a snap, drops back, more penalty flags. And that will go against Galax. Frustrating penalties here. Tim, what's your evaluation on this? Well, just too many. Surely put them way behind the chains here. Third down, and uh, so really that passing attack is going to have to be shown here. Going to have to. I say a screen kind of pass or a draw. Attack, yeah. Well, yeah, you could run something here when they maybe set it up like you're going to pass it, and just go conservative there. So let's see what happens. 5.23 left to play here in the first quarter. It is third and long. Galax needs to cross the Grayson 24 for first down. It's third and long from the 48. Running play near side. Blake Brown is upended, tripped up as he crosses the 40-yard line. And running that towards the Grayson County sidelines here to the near side. He is taken down just shy of the original line of scrimmage. So that'll be fourth, and we're going to call it about 13 or 14 yards here for Galax with uh, less than five minutes to play here in the first quarter and no score. So Galax, you're in four down territory, but might be better to pin Grayson County deep, and that's what the Tide are going to do here, Tim. Got movement here up front at the line. That'll be against Galax, false start. Aggressive again right there, trying to get off the line. Sometimes. You wonder if they look at certain things, though. <laughs> so that'll back them up five yards. So fourth down and long here. So we got fourth and 19. Ball is on the 43. Galax in punt formation. We'll try to pin the Blue Devils deep here. Josh Berlin, this will be his 15th punt of the season. There's a low snap, Sperlin's kick is a good one. Got some good hang time, will be fair caught at the 10 yard line by the return man. That's where Grayson will have it. It's second drive here of the night, deep in the first quarter. So that was number two, Tanner McPherson, the uh, return man there with a fair catch. So first and 10 Grayson from its own 10 yard line, ball in the near hash, moving left to right across your radio dial, 423. Left in the first quarter, no score, Tim. What do you think of this one so far? Well, it's a rivalry game, and you're seeing it play out. Galax has been their own worst enemy in that first drive for themselves. Worked it out and almost had a score, and then shot themselves in the foot. Hogsworth takes a snap, and did he keep that one, or did he give it to the ball? Think it was a Nope, he did keep it. He did keep it. Quarterback keeper there, and he was upended and brought down. Cut down at the 10-yard line, so no game. It'll be second and 10 coming up for Grayson from its own 10-yard line. I was going to say he's a short quarterback, but he's my height. He's 5'8". So. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. And as we mentioned, uh, coming into this game, he leads the team in passing yards and rushing yards. Hollingsworth and... He is a junior, so he does have a total of 921 passing yards, 11 touchdowns to nine interceptions, and 721 yards rushing on the year, and counted for 12 touchdowns for his team. And he hooks up with one of his receivers there on the outside for the first down. And that's yeah, a big game for that passing catch. What they're going to need to do is they're going to have to get back on the line play some bump and run a little bit. And uh, whenever they do that, they need to, because what's, what's happening is they're running at a quick out about three yards deep, and our guys aren't on the line for it. 
So first and 10, Grayson from its own 27-yard line with a split backfield, a receiver to the near side. McPherson will fake, will keep it himself, tuck and run. Slides out of several tackles where he's going to be pulled down by Christian Brown at the 33-yard line. That's a gain of six on that quarterback keeper. So second down and a long four coming up for Grayson County. Ball in between the hash marks from the 33. So McPherson has his second catch of the night here on this drive. As he hauled in that 17-yard reception from Hollingsworth. 2.43 left to play in the first quarter. No score. Galax and Grayson County from Independence. Second and four Blue Devils on their own 33 with a split backfield. Running play, slamming it forward is the ball carrier. And he's going to pick up about two yards. So it'll be wow. second down and a long two coming up for the Blue Devils. Third. Third. Uh, third and a short two. Correction. Third and a short two for Grayson County from their own 36-yard line. Ball in between the hash marks. Blue Devils moving left to right, trying to pick up the first down. A split backfield. Hollingsworth dropped under center with a receiver out wide. Running play. Ball's loose. Legs churning and moving it forward is the ball carrier rumbling ahead. Powering his way, he's got the first down to the 40-yard line of Grayson County. Move the chains. Those refs can't be that quick. That was a fumble. It was recovered by Grayson, but they're quick to blow that whistle. And that's hurting Galax. Got 150 left to play here in the first quarter and no score. First and 10. New life for Grayson County from their own 40-yard line with a split backfield. Twin receivers out wide. Hollingsworth drops back. Will hand it off. Delay draw play up the middle. Goes the ball carrier to midfield. As he pounds his way forward right to the Grayson County logo. Takes it to the 50. That is a first down on that running play. Give him 10 yards. They haven't moved the change yet, but I think he got enough for the first down, clearly. Yeah, it's time for a big turnover here for Galax. We need some in this game. Absolutely. One of our keys coming into it and then make your tackles. Galax has missed several already here in this first quarter. 120 left to play in the first. No score. Grayson County driving again on its second drive of the night. They've been in Galax Marine Tide territory already tonight. Here's a running play. That will be a running play up the middle. And plunging his way forward goes the ball carrier to the maroon side, 48, for a pickup of two. It'll be second down and eight coming up for Grayson County. Colby Barnes credited with the stop there, the freshman linebacker. Second and a long seven, really, here for Grayson County. From the maroon side, 48-yard line. Hollingsworth has a snap running play. Here's Johnson, jumps out of one tackle, trying to cut the corner and get it to the outside there. We'll dive forward. Peoples on the stop for Galax. It's Dougie Peoples after the running back picks up a yard. So third down and a long six coming up here for Grayson. Got 12 seconds here to play in the first quarter. No score, Galax and Grayson from Independence. Got a good one going on here. That will be the final play of the first, so no score. Defensive battle here, and a lot of penalties in that first quarter. We'll be back here after this quick word from our sponsors to Independence, your CBA Galax Tourism Game of the Week. Stay tuned. Self to the original Galax Tasty Freeze. Established in 1978, the Galax Tasty Freeze is a nostalgic cruise in and local favorite, serving up fabulous $5 daily specials, the best dog basket in town, and yummy shakes and ice cream. The Galax Tasty Freeze has everything from pizza and hamburger steaks to chicken and barbecue and hot dog and hamburger combos. So call in your tailgate special on the way to the game, ready in 20 minutes. 276 236 50 296-236-5095. The Galax Tasty Freeze on South Main Street, Highway 89 in Galax, Virginia. Galax Tasty Freeze, let us do the cooking while you have the fun. 
DNA Cheating and Cooling, celebrating over 45 years of service. We specialize in high efficiency, energy saving heat pumps, gas and oil furnaces with 24 7 service and repair. Licensed and insured, we now offer professional duct cleaning. DNA Cheating and Cooling at 4971 Kelton Pike, Woodlawn, Virginia. Call us today at 276 236 3829. That's 276 236 3829. to the action and on third and a long six. Quarterback Hollingsworth hooks up with McPherson, his third catch. And boy, he was uh, making men miss all over the place right there. With a good stutter step and a good cut, turning it upfield there. And he's got the Grayson County first down to the Maroon Tide 31 yard line. Move the chains for the Blue Devils, Tim. What a play right there. Hooking up with his big time target, 6'3 receiver. Tanner McPherson. This yeah, season. and uh, Dixon just was off from his um, coverage there. He came into that about four or five step in his route, and it was wide open. So the teams have reversed field. So Grayson County now marching towards the south end zone, moving right to left across your radio dial as McPherson gives it to the ball carrier, Johnson, and he powers his way forward, pounds it up the middle, Takes it to the Galax 26 yard line. So that will pick up five yards. It'll be second down and a long four coming up here for Grayson. Ball in the near hash. The Galax 26. Just getting underway here early on in the second quarter. Split backfield. Hollingsworth dropped under center with a receiver out wide. There's a snap. Hollingsworth fakes, tuck and run, near side 20, dragging Spurl into the 15 yard line where he will be taken down. Not after another, Blue Devils first down. Yeah. Boy, Grayson County's coming out on fire, Tim, and determined. See if this holds up, but boy, they're playing great football right now. Giving Galax everything that they can handle. Yeah, this reminds me of the game that last home game that we had Auburn Auburn yes. yeah they were they were doing the same thing and about all the way up until about midway through the second quarter and we had that huge fumble at the goal line and that changed the whole yeah, dynamic yeah. of the game late in the second quarter and <laughs> that took that long yeah running play here's Johnson will be pushed backwards here stood up at the line and is not going anywhere. So second down and 10 coming up for Grayson County from its own 15 yard line. But that's the thing, in that ball game, we really played our best football in that second half, but we came out with the wrong attitude. We came in like, oh, we're Galax. It didn't matter to uh, the Eagles, that's for sure. And Coach Dixon, you heard him say that in well, the first game. Very here. frustrated and upset with his team. Yeah, a lot of that's going right on here. here tonight. So you have to respect your opponent. That's exactly right. 9.40 left to play here in the half. Hollingsworth, one step drop, will throw. Looking end zone, back corner, and it's incomplete. Wow, it was good Kinda coverage. Kind of over there. his shoulder there, double coverage. Ethan Robinson on the coverage there. Wasn't it Ethan or was it? It's Ethan and I believe Dougie back deep there. Dropped yeah, back Ethan there. dropped back and he made tried to make a play on the ball, but his, his head was turned perfectly and uh, the quarterback threw a beautiful ball. I mean, it was right where it needed to be. That's a nice fade, wasn't it? Oh, man, but he was right where he needed to be for a defender. Oh, yeah. At this level, that was pretty on both sides. Nine and a half left to play here in the half. Third and 10, Grayson County from the Galax 15. We'll try a running play and they're going to sandwich the ball carrier. He is going to be able to inch out some yardage here as he falls on his back. Yeah. Given two, so fourth down and eight coming up here from the 13-yard line of Galax. Yeah, and that was two down territory, so I think they were trying to do a run to set up a short fourth down play. Try to get something more manageable, right? Right, but Galax responded real well with um, not expecting a pass and getting it right there on the line. Yeah, they shut that door quick, that's for sure. Plugged up the running lane. So fourth down and eight coming up from the 13-yard line here for the Blue Devils. Here is the drop back. Hollingsworth looks, looks, dances around. Now takes off and runs up the middle. Dives forward. 
They got him. to fight for every inch of yard he could with defenders falling on his back. And he takes it to the Galax, looks like the nine yard line. Pick up a four, but a turnover on downs. We'll give it back to Galax. Good job by our defense. Boy, and that wasn't a fumble at the one yard line like we got that one time, but definitely a huge stop for Galax right there. 8.41 left to play here as the tie takeover, the turnover on downs. 8.41 left to go in the second quarter. First and 10 from the nine here. Galax out of the Wildcat, Jet Sweep Dixon. I know he broke free of one tackle as he spilled the defender there to the outside. And let's see how much he was able to pick up as he turned the corner. Nothing, second down and 10 coming up for Galax from the nine yard line. Ball in the far hash. So you didn't get to see a lot of this last week, these little jet sweep end around plays. Scored our first touchdown, Dixon took it 45 yards. That was Bland County, but that was three plays into the game. We finally scored just like that. Pickett with a back on his right hit. High snap, we'll get it down, we'll hand it off. Running play, rumbling forward goes Dougie Peoples there, cutting the corner, taking it to the numbers on the outside. That will be a positive yardage. It'll be third and five coming up here for Galax. The five yard gain for Dougie. Running play to the Galax 14. All on the far hash, 7.35 left to play here in the half and no score from Independence. Galax has two wide outs here. We'll send Peoples in motion to the left. Pickett drops under center, scans the defense, barks off the signals. Blake Brown in the backfield will take the handoff here. Makes a cut as he turns it upfield. Gets into the secondary and will be pulled down as he takes it to the numbers on the outside. He's got a Galax first down. Gets it out across the sticks. Move the chains. He needs some coaches' hearts to stop. He made a cut at about two yards from getting a first down. And he just barreled a heavy power and got it. But he went... He went lateral instead of vertical on that, and then he finally got the first, at least. My heart stopped. I don't know if yours did. We needed it. First to 10, Galax from its own 22. Pickett drops back, looks to throw. Will dump it off into the flats there. Nice screen pass. Dougie Peoples throws a stiff arm, walking the tightrope, breaks into Grayson County territory. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. As he dive for his feet, nobody getting him. Dougie Peoples, end zone. Give him six. Touchdown, Galax. Boy, that was a big play there. I thought he was going to go out, and he just kept walking that tightrope. Good play by Peoples. And nice little swing pass there. Nice that was swing pretty. pass. I love that. Boy, they set that one up beautifully. Yeah, good block there on the edge. I can't remember who it was. But he came over and made a good block. Kick is up, and it is good from Caxton Vault with a PAT. Makes the score. Galax 7, 6.45 left to play here in the first half. 7 to nothing. Galax over Grayson County back after this. Oh, no! What do I do now? Hey, buddy, no worries. Fenders can help. Fenders Body Shop and Towing is available and on call when you need them. So if you are ever in an accident or your vehicle just won't start, then remember Fenders Body Shop and Towing. Fenders provides 24-hour roadside assistance and have been in business for 38 years. Fast, easy, and convenient service and a name you can trust. Give Fenders Body Shop and Towing a call at 276-23. 337407. That's 276 233 7407. And visit our website, FendersBodyShop.com. That's FendersBodyShop.com. Or stop by the shop at 103 North Meadow Street in Galax. We do collision repair work and have a nice selection of used cars. So come see us and tell us you heard it on the radio. Back right, to the action, Osuna with the ensuing kick, and it is up. And another short kick will be fielded from the 15, return to the near side, and a lot of running room. Here goes the return man, hit hard, out of bounds, as he crosses the 40-yard line. Big hit, Ethan Robinson and Dougie Peoples. 
Looks like Peoples with the bone jarring hit right there will help from Ethan Robinson. Yeah, it was a good play there. He saw the opening and uh, he came flying around that corner because it was open. But Dougie closed the gap quick and uh, made a good hit and stop right there on the uh, sideline. Grayson County will have it first and 10 from its own 42 yard line, ball in the near hash. Blue Devils operating right to left here across your radio dial with 638 left in the half. Kalax leading seven to nothing. A nice screen pass as Pickett hooks up with Dougie Peoples. 78 yards, I believe, right? Uh, something like that, yeah. Split backfield running play. Rumbling forward goes Johnson. As he pounds the ball forward, running it along the near hash marks. Takes it to the 46 yard line there. I think that's where they're gonna stop it and spot it there, 47. So, got second down and a long five coming up here for the Blue Devils. Like the football is just out across the 46, ball in the near hash. Split backfield for the Blue Devils. The receiver to the near side, Hollingsworth. Has a snap, turns, hands it off. No, fakes, drops back the throw, and it's caught. Playing jump ball there, the receiver hauls it in. Blake Brown, the free safety on the stop. Beautiful fake. That was a nice pass. It had me. Oh, yeah. I thought, we had broke, sure. I thought we blew him up about three yards deep. Surprised me. <laughs> that was a beautiful oh, play. Wow, what a catch. And let's see who had that catch there. 22. Johnson. Wow, running back. I need my binoculars. I can see, but not that good. <laughs> Split backfield. And you're going hunting the ball. Two wide outs. First and 10, <laughs> Blue Devils. From their, uh, let's see, the Galax 41 ball in the far hash. And Grayson County is going to burn a timeout. We'll take one with them. You're listening to the City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. Back after this. The City of Galax Parks and Recreation Department, located at 601 South Main Street, Galax, would like to invite everyone to stop by and enjoy the many new programs and activities we have to offer for kids, adults, and seniors. The 2017 Fall and Winter Program brochure can be downloaded at galax-parksrec.com. That's galax-parksrec.com, or you can pick up a printed copy at the Galax Recreation Center. We look forward to seeing everyone come out and participate in our many fitness classes and programs. Again, we are located at 601 South Main Street, Galax, Virginia, in Feltz Park, phone 276-236-3218. That's 276-236-3218. Back to Independence. Craig Vaughn Experience in concert, Saturday, December the 2nd, at 7 p.m., Grayson County High School Auditorium. Tickets are $10. See a boys basketball player to purchase tickets, or you can phone this number here, 276-768-6235 for more information. Sounds like a pretty good little concert there. Craig Vaughn Experience, Saturday, December 2nd, 7 p.m. at Grayson County High School Auditorium. 276-768-6235 for more information. Split backfield for Grayson County, first and 10 from the Maroon Tide 41-yard line. There goes the ball carrier, and he is taking the ball forward there, dragging defenders. Uh, looks like the 37-yard line. Should be a pickup of four yards. It's second down and six coming up for Grayson County. He was able to squeeze his way through the hole right there somehow. Galax wrapping up pretty good there on the tackle, but all that strength he carried him for a couple of yards. So you got the main yeah. thing is to wrap up, right? <laughs> yeah, but get, uh, what Grayson likes is that moving the chains little by little. Split backfield, and they're gonna fake, and quarterback keeper, and he's gonna fight for the yardage. Here come the penalty flags, though. 
as the quarterback dives, leans, and surges. Running it it's the outside be a hash marks, cutting the face corner. mask. And what do we have here, Tim? I don't know. I couldn't tell. Either that or a hold, but personal foul, face mask. Mm -hmm. oh. and that was unfortunate. Uh, but he was scrambling for more yards, and I think what happened is he was falling forward. Uh, one of our guys just happened to get his hand caught. He wasn't tackled by the face mask by any stretch. Actually, he was hit around the waist, and I think as he was throwing his momentum forward, he just caught it in the one of the hands of the game. I'll tell you what, we may have the advantage on the scoreboard. We do not have the advantage in the rest of this game, especially as far as penalties go. We'll set it up for you first. Down at 10, Grayson County from the Galax 21. Ball on the far hash. Hollingsworth scanning the defense, getting everybody set up here. The split backfield and two wideouts. It's got the snap. We'll give it. Up the middle, slamming it forward. Goes Johnson, powering his way, keeping the legs turning there. What a lot of strength right there and a determination. And I think without effort, he's got the first down. Grayson County's in the red zone, down to the Maroon Tide 12 yard line on that running play. Just shy of the first down, though, where they're going to mark it. Nine yard pickup on the running play from Johnson. Well, it was a key to the game, but that tackling has been awful sometimes. And that time, that was just bad tackling. I mean, it was. Grayson's going to try to get five extra yards. Every one of their running backs are. Hollingsworth with a split backfield. We'll give it to the ball carrier. We got penalty flags in the backfield. False start, hey. I would assume. Yes. <laughs> I think any time that penalty flags are in the backfield, it, it's usually. Uh, An early like that, for sure. False start or something there, yeah. Because they blew the play dead. Exactly. 3.23 left to go here in the first half. Galax leading 7 to nothing. Pick it on a 78-yard screen pass to Dougie Peoples. It's been our only touchdown thus far. Touchdown is brought to you by the original Galax Tasty Freeze, nostalgic cruise in local favorite, established in 1978, serving up fabulous $5 daily specials, the best dog baskets in town, yummy shakes and ice cream, Everything from pizza and hamburger steaks to chicken and barbecue and hot dog hamburger combos. Give you the number and the location in just a few moments. Big hit. That is a huge hit. Plowing the defender, or excuse me, the receiver into the turf there is Ethan Robinson after McPherson hauled in that pass. Boy, think, he left his feet off that hit there. I was going to say, I think Ethan heard me up here about tackling. <laughs> yeah. He took great offense to that, so yeah. he made a really good... Uh, classic tackle right there. Lifting him up off his feet and just driving oh, him man. into the ground. All right, so folks, call in your tailgate special on your way to the game. Ready in 20 minutes. Original Galax Tasty Freeze, 276-236-5095. South Main Street, Highway 89, Galax, Virginia. Let us do the cooking while you have the fun. On third and four, running play, Grayson County gets inside the Galax 10-yard line, maybe down to the five. The way this is looking, we need to check uh, Grayson's uniforms to see if they've got butter or Crisco on them or something. <laughs> he just keeps you slipping out of our tackles, I'm telling you. It's been that way out <laughs> this whole game. <laughs> Cannot get Look like a bunch of Grayson pigs. <laughs> yeah, boy. So first and 10, Grayson County spotted at the eight. Ball in the near hash. The first and goal here. First and goal, Grayson. Trailing seven to nothing here. 148 left to play in the half. Hogsworth dropped under center. We'll take the snap. We'll give it to the ball carrier. Running play. That's Johnson slamming it forward, pounding the ball ahead to the Maroon Tide five for a pickup of three. Second and goal from the five of Galax coming up for Grayson. Yeah, a minute and 27 seconds left, too. And Using clock, right? Yeah. Big time. Sustaining the drive, for sure. Because you'd almost, if they were to score, you'd kind of like Galax to try to score and then go ahead 14-7 and then get the ball second half. Yeah, they may have some time to orchestrate Maybe. something. We'll see. Split backfield, Hollingsworth has a snap, gives it to the ball carrier. 
As he rumbles forward up the gut. And they'll take it to the two. Another three yard pickup for Grayson County. Third and goal. Kalax needs a good defensive stand here. Yeah, Kalax has got to get kind of mad a little bit. Come up off those the box and everything. Two, yes, the they are. 43 seconds, now down to 37 now that I look at it. Split backfield. Hollingsworth has a snap. Ball carrier takes it. No. Quarterback keeper and it's all for his touchdown. Grayson County. Twenty-five seconds left on the clock. That's a good fake there. But play action and a toss of the end zone. You got your big six-three receiver there and haul it in. Now get ready for the PAT. Offsides, gay lights. Tilted flags. What's that? Gonna be on Ethan Robinson. He just got over the line a little too quick. I think we're gonna try to block it. So that was uh, 82 Phillips. He's 6'2, 210 pound receiver. Boy, they got big receivers. Tight end is 6'4. So Wyatt will attempt this PAT here. Snap is down, laces forward, kick is up, and it's good. Ties the game up at seven with 26 seconds left to play here in the first half. Be back to Independence, your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week after this. If you like breakfast, no matter what the time, Aunt B's is sure to please. Aunt B's restaurants not only serve comfort food quick, they also serve breakfast all day long. You can enjoy the taste of farm fresh eggs. <laughs> Fixed any way you choose. Breakfast meats such as sizzling hot bacon, sausage, tenderloin, country ham or city ham, country style steak, and even bologna. And don't forget the delicious breakfast biscuits filled with your choice of meat, eggs, or jelly. And there's always the area's favorite biscuits and gravy. If you enjoy pancakes or French toast with syrup, Aunt B's has got you covered too. For comfort food quick, including breakfast served all day, the place to go is Aunt B's Restaurants with five convenient locations in Galax, Hillsville, Independence, Mount Airy, and Pilot Mountain. And ready to have the ensuing kick. I would say it's going to be a squib. Sure. Or an I onside. Agree with that. Yeah, you never know. 26 seconds. I don't think they'd want to risk anything, though. Stay gay likes that with a good field position. We'll see. It is a line yeah. drive kick. And it doesn't take long to get down there. It'll be returned by Caxton Vault to the outside. He goes. 40. And trying to dive to the 45. Will get hit out of bounds. Just shy of the 45. Out at the 40 is where they're going to mark it. 19.7 seconds left to go in the half. 7-7 seven, seven our score here from Independence, your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. Well, I do not believe that Galax is going to just kneel the ball here. <laughs> That's not, not Mark Dixon's dictionary, I don't think. <laughs> I think he's going to try to make something happen, try to score, I would. Absolutely. Let's try to orchestrate something. Dougie Peoples, get ready to take the snap out of the Wildcat. Grayson County will burn a timeout Maybe here. Maybe Grayson thought they were going to try to kneel. <laughs> Surely not. So I think Grace is down to one timeout left in the half. Galax still has all three. Keep that in mind. 19.7 seconds left in the first half. Galax seven on a 78-yard screen pass from Pickett to Peoples. And Phillips from Hollingsworth on a two-yard pass and catch. Play action. Tied it at seven. Galax has about six seconds per play, so it's eight, 19 seconds. So you have three plays, potentially. Unless. With your timeouts, right? Yeah, unless, unless you got you past the yeah. first down marker, too, right? Right. That's true. Because it's like college in that sense, not like NFL. Oh, yeah. 
So Peoples ready to take the direct snap out of the Wildcat with Brown on his right hit. Twin receiver stacked up on the outside will send one in motion. Fake the jet sweep. Keeper, here goes Peoples to the outside. Oh, Numbers brother. Falling on his back, and we do have penalty flags here. 12 Jay seconds. Lacks is in Grayson territory. Face mask on Grayson. Tim says a personal foul against Grayson Great. County for a face mask. That'll be a 15-yard penalty from the spot. Tacked on to the end of the run. Yeah, it, his face has turned about the 50-yard line. You could, I could see it up here. He didn't need binoculars for that. <laughs> no, you didn't. You may have better eyes than I do. So we'll reset this here now. At the end of the run, that's about a nine-yard pickup for Peoples, 15-yard penalty. Galax has it first and 10 from the Grayson County 31-yard line. Ball on the far hash and 13 seconds left in the half. Now you're getting close to throw a long bomb into the end zone. Stacked receivers on the outside. Now we do have uh, a whistle here. Oh, the clock started. The clock did start, so yeah. Oh, that's right. So yeah, when you reset, you start it. So got it down to 10 seconds now left. So three second runoff there. Didn't see that official signal there. He did. So here we go. First and 10, Galax. Got to move quick. What? 12 times. I don't know how to sit 12 now. Hang on a minute. Yes, is that what they're asking for is a reset the clock. Sounds like it's going to be reset to 12-9 here. That'll be about to, there it is. <laughs> Good job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quick go, hands up there. Here we go. First and 10, Galax from the Grayson 31. Pickett will take the snap with the back on his left hip, fake the jet sweep to Dixon, drop back throw, oh, and it's picked, picked off. off, intercepted by the Blue Devils. And I'll tell you what, Tim, they've got a ball hawking secondary. And they've got a guy that's got seven interceptions on the season. One has four right behind him. So they do have a ball hawking secondary to the Blue Devils. McPherson with seven picks on the year. Phillips has four. Johnson two, Osborne with one. I think so it was really Osborne that made secondary. the pick. And Osborne with the interception. So that will be the sixth interception thrown of the season by the freshman Cole Pickett. Osborne his second interception of the season. 3.3 seconds left here in the half. Blue Devils have it. First and 10 from around the 10 yard line, ball in the far hash. Hollingsworth takes the snap, will drop to a knee, and that'll be the final play of the first half. 7-7 seven, seven score, how about this? Got a good one in Independence. The final regular season game of the season. Big MED tilt. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors. It'll be your Baldwin Funeral Home Halftime Show. Stay tuned. Yeah. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The Twin County Regional Hospital's Emergency Department staff in Galax, Virginia, are able to respond to medical and surgical emergencies. We are highly qualified to initiate life-saving procedures in all types of emergency situations. And it is very comforting to know that the Emergency Department at Twin County Regional Hospital is an accredited chest pain center and a Joint Commission Certified Primary Stroke Center. When you need them, they are there. Twin County Regional Hospital in Galax, Virginia, a Duke Life Point affiliate. Twin County Tire and Automotive is your one your automotive repair and maintenance needs. Plus, they offer a wide selection of tires from trusted brands at fair prices. Their knowledgeable and properly trained technicians will get you back on Twin County Tire and Automotive. Stop by 103 West Webster Street, downtown Galax, or call 276-236-0007 to schedule an appointment. Go to TwinCountyTire.com backslash coupons dash rebates for great ways to save on your next visit. Glenn Funeral. Vaughn, Gwen, McGrady, Chapel of the sponsors of programs. They've been serving the community since 1913 in your family's time of need. 
Offering pre planning, traditional services, and cremation. Call 276 236 2442 or 276 728 2041. Von Gwen Funeral Home and Von Gwen McGrady Chapel. We're there when you need us. I'm Hal Epperson, voice of your Galax Maroon Tide, and here to tell you about my favorite restaurant in town, RJ's Pizza and Subs. They keep their menu as fresh as their ingredients, so you always have something new to try. Featuring the best pizza in town, mouth-watering pastas, subs to fill any size appetite, salads with an abundance of fresh vegetables, and an array of appetizers. RJ's Pizza and Subs, 1006 East Stewart Drive in Galax, open Monday through Saturday for lunch and dinner. Dine with them today or for a takeout, call 276-236-8444. Order online at rjpizza.com. Some of the most enjoyable activities that can be experienced are simple ones. A ride down a country road, a delicious meal, a glimpse into culture from long ago, and the music of the mountains. These are some of the simple pleasures you can experience with a visit to Galax, Virginia. To learn more about the many fun things to do in Galax, stop by the Visitor Center at 110 East Grayson Street or visit us on the web at visitgalax.com. Visitgalax.com. That's visitgalax.com. We are a proud sponsor of Maroon Tide Athletics and wish all of our sports teams the best of luck and go Tide! Isom Collision and Custom Paint, your hometown specialist for collision repair and custom paint projects. With their computerized estimates, you will easily understand all of your car's needs. Their technicians are experienced and trained using today's technology. A frame machine with computerized measuring and two bank cycle paint booths enables them to get your vehicle back to factory condition. Isom Collision, located one mile from I-77 between Jeff Johnson Chevrolet and Horizon Rental. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Call 276-728-4330 to schedule an appointment today. That's 276-728-4330. Isom Collision and Custom Paint supporting Tide Pride. Aunt B's Restaurants are proud to sponsor the Galax High School Maroon Tide Sports Coverage on WCGX 1360 AM and online at WCGX.rocks. Aunt B's Restaurants really appreciate the communities that they serve. One way that Aunt B's has chosen to give back to the local area is by supporting local high school sports on the radio. They will also provide the Hog of the Week Award to the best defensive player of the week who hogs the ball the most. The winner of this reward will receive a $20 gift certificate to enjoy a delicious meal at Aunt B's along with a Hog of the Week trophy. We appreciate Aunt B's Restaurants for helping to bring the coverage of Galax High School Maroon Tide ball games to the airwaves of WCGX 1360 AM and online to WCGX.rocks. That's WCGX.rocks. WCGX.rocks. You can also listen on your smartphone to the TuneIn radio app. High Country Service Funerals and Cremations, located at 600 Glendale Road, Galax, Virginia. Providing the Galax and Tween County area with the most modern funeral home at the lowest prices in Southwest Virginia. High Country Service brings to you a new tradition in funeral care by creating meaningful, unique services designed just for you and your family for the lowest possible price. Because High Country Services offers you the most affordable services in funeral care, we are able to treat everyone equally without you having to negotiate from other funeral homes a more affordable price. It's a winning combination. Best service at the lowest price. Isn't it time you experience the difference in funeral and cremation care at High Country Services? Call us today at 276-236-9009 to see how we can save your family hundreds of dollars for funeral and cremation care without jeopardizing service. Visit us at our web and Facebook pages. High Country Services is a proud sponsor of the Gaylights High School Maroon Tide Athletic Program and a supporter to bring you the broadcast for your enjoyment. Halftime here in Independence. Galax and Grayson County are tied up at 7 at the break. Time now to start your Vaughn Wind Funeral Home halftime show. Vaughn Wind Funeral Home. For all your funeral arrangement needs, visit Vaughn Wind Funeral Home today, 201 West Center Street in Galax, or give them a call at 276 236 2442. That's 201 West Center Street in Galax, 276 236 2442. Vaughn Wind Funeral Hall, taking care of your family, there to comfort and make the process easier. Our family serving your family in a time of need. Let's look at the first half stats here. Appreciate Wendy Dixon and her hard work getting these stats here for us. 
The stats will be brought to you by Mountain Linen Services, serving Galax, the Twin Counties, and the surrounding area. As your full-service linen company specializing in towels, aprons, kitchen apparel, hospital gowns, dust control items like dust mops and doorway entrance mats. We even do tablecloth rentals for weddings and other special occasions. So give us a call at 276-236-0141. Again, 276-236-0141 today for Mountain Linen Services. Looking at the first half numbers here in a 7-7 tie. Both teams scoring all of their points in the second quarter. They were scoreless at the end of one. Cole Pickett hooked up with Dougie Peoples on a screen pass for 78 yards at the midway point of the second quarter, 645 mark to be exact. And then Grayson County would answer late in the first half. 25 seconds left until the break. Hollingsworth to Seth Phillips for a two-yard touchdown. And Wyatt was able to make the PAT tie the score up at seven. Galax has 149 yards of total offense on 13 plays. It's good for 11 and a half yards per play. Grayson County, 149 yards on 32 plays. Good for 4.7 yards per play. Galax, 78 passing yards, one of two through the year. 78 yard average, one touchdown, one interception thrown by Pickett. Grayson County, meanwhile, six of eight through the year, 56 yards, 9.3 yards per pass, and a touchdown. Grayson County has 93 rushing yards on 24 carries, good for four yards per rush. Galax 71 on 11 attempts, six and a half yards per rush. Six penalties for 40 yards for Galax, three penalties for 35 yards for the Blue Devils, one turnover for Galax, an interception thrown by Pickett. One punt for a 33 yard average from Galax, one punt for a 30 yard average for Grayson County. See how even these teams are, but Grayson County does Control the time of possession, 1708, Galax 643. Grayson has 12 first downs, six on the ground attack, four through the air, two from penalties tonight. And for Galax, six first downs, three rushing, one passing, two penalties. Third downs tonight, Galax is one of three, 33%, and 0 of one on fourth downs. Grayson County is four of six, 67% on third downs, and then on fourth downs, they are 0 for one. Grayson County, Jake Hollingsworth, 6 of 8, passing 56 yards and a touch. Cole Pickett is 1 of 2, 78 yards, 1 touchdown, 1 interception. Rushing the football, Dougie Peoples, 7 carries, 37 yards for Galax. That's a 5-yard average. Blake Brown, 2 carries for 18 yards. And Dixon, 2 carries for 16 yards. And Peoples has 1 catch, 78 yards and a touch. Grayson County, Levi Johnson, 14 carries, 59 yards, 4.2-yard average. Hollingsworth, 6 carries, 24 yards. And Dawson Allen has four carries for 10 yards. Grayson County's McPherson with four catches, 41 yards, 10.3-yard average. And Phillips, two catches, 15 yards, and a touchdown. Defensively, McPherson had the interception on the stat sheet. That is his eighth pick of the year. Defensively, Buggy Peoples has five and a half stops for Galax. Colby Barnes and Christian Brown with four and a half tackles. Noah Hutchins with four tackles. Lee Peoples, two and a half stops and a tackle for a loss. Josh Sperlin, Levi Reynolds with two tackles each. Landa Dixon, Ethan Robinson, John Key each have one and a half stops. Blake Brown, Caxton Vault with one tackle each. Keaton Beeman has assisted on a tackle tonight. In the kicking game, Caxton Vault, one for one on PATs. On the other side, Garrett Wyatt, one for one on his extra point attempts and makes tonight. And then uh, Josh Berlin with one punt, 33 yards, one inside the 20. Chase Pope, one punt for 30 yards. Punt returns, Galax Dixon has a run back for 40 yards. Meanwhile, Pope's was inside the 20 as well. Kickoff returns, Caxton Vault with a run back for 21 yards. Grayson County, Gage Peoples has two returns for 54 yards. That is your first half stats brought to you by Mountain Linen Services. Let's step aside, take one more final timeout break, back with your Twin County Regional Hospital difference maker and some other great things here as part of our halftime show. We may have time to check the out-of-town scoreboard. Back to your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. Galax and Grayson County tied up at 7 at the half. Stay tuned. The City of Galax Parks and Recreation Department, located at 601 South Main Street, Galax, would like to invite everyone to stop by 
and enjoy the many new programs and activities we have to offer for kids, adults, and seniors. The 2017 Fall and Winter Program brochure can be downloaded at galax-parksrec.com. That's galax-parksrec.com, or you can pick up a printed copy at the Galax Recreation Center. We look forward to seeing everyone come out and participate in our many fitness classes and programs. Again, we are located at 601 South Main Street, Galax, Virginia, in Feltz Park, phone 276-236-3218. That's 276-236-3218. Treat yourself to a meal at the original Galax Tasty Freeze. Established in 1978, the Galax Tasty Freeze is a nostalgic cruise-in and local favorite, serving up fabulous $5 daily specials, the best dog basket in town, and yummy shakes and ice cream. The Galax Tasty Freeze has everything from pizza and hamburger steaks to chicken and barbecue and hot dog and hamburger combos. So call in your tailgate special on the way to the game, ready in 20 minutes, 276. 236-5095 276-236-5095 The Galax Tasty Freeze on South Main Street, Highway 89 in Galax, Virginia. Galax Tasty Freeze, let us do the cooking while you have the fun. D&H Heating and Cooling, celebrating over 45 years of service. We specialize in high-efficiency, energy-saving heat pumps, gas and oil furnaces with 24-7 service and repair. Licensed and insured, we now offer professional duct cleaning. D&H Heating and Cooling at 4971 Kelton Pike, Woodlawn, Virginia. Call us today at 276-236-3829. That's 276-236-3829. Oh no! What do I do now? Hey buddy, no worries. Fenders can help. Fenders Body Shop and Towing is available and on call when you need them. So if you are ever in an accident or your vehicle just won't start, then remember Fenders Body Shop and Towing. Fenders provides 24-hour roadside assistance and have been in business for 38 years. Fast, easy, and convenient service and a name you can trust. Give Fenders Body Shop and Towing a call at 276-233-7407. That's 276-233-7407. And visit our website, FendersBodyShop.com. That's FendersBodyShop.com. Or stop by the shop at 103 North Meadow Street in Galax. We do collision repair work and have a nice selection of used cars. So come see us and tell us you heard it on the radio. Chick-fil-A Highway 601 in Mount Airy is the official tailgate sponsor of the award-winning Maroon Tide Sports Network. Tune in every Friday night during our pregame show for your chance to compete in the Chick-fil-A Trivia Challenge to win the Chick-fil-A tailgate package. Feeds up to eight people. Pregame show starts at 6.30 p.m. Chick-fil-A Highway 601 in Mount Airy. Eat boat chicken. Roll Tide. <laughs> To Vaughn Wood Funeral Home Halftime Show rolls along here. All right, time for our locker room adjustments and difference maker. This is brought to you by Twin County Regional Hospital. Volunteer Services Twin County Regional Healthcare will host a Christmas Bazaar on Friday, November 10th from 7 until 3. Twin County Regional Hospital in the Twin County Room as well as in the classroom, both located on the ground floor. Community members are invited to attend. Vendors and items include Lula Rose, Cincy 31, Mary Kay, Jewelry, Pottery, Primitive and Handmade Gifts, Baked goods and more. A portion of the proceeds will support initiatives of volunteer services. For more info, call 276-236-1722. For all the times you need care without the wait, there's Twin County Urgent Care. Whether it's care for the flu, infections, minor illnesses, sprains, cuts, or burns, Twin County Urgent Care will make sure you and your family can easily and quickly get the care you need to feel better. Have you covered seven days a week, Monday through Friday, 8 to 7, and 9 to 3 on the weekends? No appointments needed. Visit TCRH.org or just walk in at our location, 961 East Stewart Drive in Galax, next to McDonald's Twin County Urgent Care. We have you covered. Another important thing I wanted to pass along, congratulations to Twin County Regional Hospital as they received a grade A in safety for their patients. Huge honor. So congratulations to all the folks over there at Twin County Regional Hospital receiving that grade A in safety for their patients. So I tell you what, you get uh, good, safe care over there. They do a quality job keeping you and your family healthy and uh, just fantastic. I mean, you get all the great services over there at Twin County Regional Hospital. 
Uh, just take care, taking care of you and the entire family is what they do best. For all your health care needs, visit Twin County Regional Health Care and their hospital and their urgent care clinic. All right, folks. Uh, so, Tim, what's your difference maker there? The first half brought to you by Twin County Regional Hospital. And how about uh, any locker room adjustments that need to be made here for the second? Well, for me, the difference maker, I know he threw a pick right there at the end of the game, at the first half. That's one of those kind of throwaway interceptions. It was a great play by Grayson, defender. But actually, Cole Pickett is going to be the difference maker. He threw a beautiful pass for the first touchdown that got called back on a penalty. It was beautiful throw. And then he delivered another good ball there to Dougie Peoples for that touchdown. So Cole Pickett's my difference maker. As far as locker room adjustments, tackle, tackle, tackle. These Grayson running backs and quarterbacks and receivers, they're all hitting things. At one yard, they're hitting our linemen, and they're making four yards out of a, what should be a one-yard stop. Uh, don't go tackling the ball. I like it, but I like getting a strip, but you need to just make those fundamental tackles. And then on the offensive side, really keep doing what we're doing. I don't think it's really that bad. I, they've not really stuffed us. Uh, you can't run up the middle, but the other things we're doing, I think, are work on those end arounds and some of those other things are getting them off balance. So I keep throwing the ball. Um, they seem to work pretty well this first half. All right, and I uh, do want to mention this that uh, hey, you mentioned that the folks right there, easy to read, so I'll let you handle that. <laughs> the Craig Vaughn Experience in concert Saturday, December 2nd, 2017, at 7 p.m. in Grayson County High School Auditorium. Tickets are going to be $10. Uh, see a ba boys basketball player to purchase tickets or phone John Ayers at 276 768. 6235 276-768-6235. The Craig Vaughn Experience, Saturday, December 2nd, 2017 at 7 p.m. Grayson County High School Auditorium. Phone Don Ayers, 276-768-6235. Or see a boys basketball player, I'm assuming from the Grayson County High School team. There you go. All right, we're ready to start the second half. Hope you enjoyed listening to the Vaughn Wind Funeral Home Halftime Show. Here on your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week, Grayson County will be kicking off the Galax here to start the second half. As the kicker puts foot into leather, kicks it away left to right. Return here to the near side. Here goes Caxton Volt, jumps out of a tackle, spin move, gets out across the 40, dives over a defender to the 43-yard line where he will be upended. Nice return there from Caxton Vault. It'll be first and 10, Galax here. From its own 43-yard line, moving right to left across your radio dial, just starting the third quarter here from Independence. City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. It's a tie break the huddle here, so Cole Pickett was Tim's difference maker there in the first half. See how sharp he is here coming out of the locker room. Pickett with an eye formation backfield and two wide outs, has a snap, turns, hands it off, Peoples. Spin move, twisted to a stopping point, will be pulled down as he surges forward, just shy midfield, marking down at around the 47-yard line. That'll be a pickup of, looks like five yards there for Dougie Peoples, second down and five coming up. Tim? Yeah, on that play, it was a good effort by Peoples. He was hit right at the line, and he just spun out of that tackle. And, we're seeing a little eye formation from Galax now. Pickett on second down and five. Turns, hands it off, left to Peoples, running play. Dives over defenders. And she rumbles forward to the numbers near side into Grayson County territory. Mark him down at the 47 on the other side of the field. Be third and short coming up here for Galax. Ball in the near hash. Galax is in Blue Devils territory as the tide break the huddle. 11-10 left to play here in the third quarter. Call Galax in the great county game. tied up at seven. Well, it is close. I was They're wondering if they would spot. bring it. Yeah, I was wondering if they would do a measurement here. 
They did give him a really generous spot. You got him. You got that right. With the spot, they might have it. Nope, no, just short. short. The third and inch is coming up for Galax from the Grayson 47 yard line. Galax and Grayson County tied up at seven. 11 10 left to play in the third quarter here from Independence. Well, got what, four inches to go and two downs to do it. I think we can get it. I think so too. You got that right, brother. Here we go. Caxton vault the receiver out wide and the near side is the tight end Hutchins. And offset I formation backfield. Grayson is showing blitz, bringing the house here. Peoples escapes into the secondary. Bills over a defender, charging forward there. Gets out across the Grayson 30 down to about the 27 yard line. What a good running play there. To the numbers near side, Dougie Peoples. Yeah, on that play, what happened was uh, Grayson kind of overloaded the left side, came up to the line right in the last second, left nobody home in that second second level of uh, like the linebackers, and so he was able to get a big gain on that once he broke that pass, that first line of defenders. First and 10, Galax from the Grayson, 27. Pickett hands it off, Dougie Peoples hitting the backfield, stood Offside, up, and we do Grayson. have penalty flags. Lined up in the neutral zone. It's the Blue Devils, and so they will move this one forward here five yards. And repeat the down. It'll be first and five, Galax, from the Grayson 22-yard line. Galax is about to enter the Fender's Body Shop and Towing Red Zone for the first time tonight. Yeah, they didn't have one that first touchdown. It was 78 yards, so no red zone on that one for sure. First and 10, Galax. They're bunched up at the line here as they send Peoples in motion to the right. Pickett barks off the signals, has a snap. Pitch to Blake Brown. Gets to the outside, cuts the corner, jumps over a defender, tries a spin move, and he's twisted to a stopping point at around the 18-yard line. Collects four yards, running it to the far hash marks. Ten and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Galax, Grayson County tied up at seven. You know what I like about this game, Hal, is it is close, and... These are the type of games they'll be playing in the playoffs. Uh, so this is a good precursor to the playoff run for Galax. Pick it under center with two wide outs. One man in the backfield, that's Blake Brown. He's got the handoff and will be hit hard. Tackled below the waist right there. That is number 20, looks like. Gage Peoples, a linebacker. Able to nail oh, Blake Brown there. Bring in that chain in again, I think. What do you say, Hal? It's close. I think he got it. Because all, all they needed was one yard after that nine-yard pickup moments ago from Blake Brown. Good call. Didn't need binoculars yeah. for that one. Yeah, he didn't need much. <laughs> he didn't get much, but he didn't need much. So here we go. First and 10, Galax, as we set it up for you. Ball in the near hash from the 17 yard line. Galax in the Fender's body shop and towing red zone for the first time tonight. 9.48 and a running clock here left in the third quarter. I formation, running play. Here goes Peoples. Up the gut, slamming it forward, sidestepping, making a cut of one defender, and it's finally pulled down at around the 13 yard line. Pick up of four yards. It'll be second down and six coming up for Galax. Fender's body shop and towing. If you're ever in an accident, your vehicle won't start, you're locked out of your car, you've got a flat tire, then remember Fender's body shop and towing. 24 hour roadside assistance. Call them today at 276-233-7477, 276-233-7477. Second and six, Galax from the Grayson County 12-yard line. Dougie Peoples makes a cut, pounds the ball forward, running it along the near hash marks. Going to be very close to a maroon tied first down as he takes it to the Blue Devils' eight-yard line. Game of inches, I tell you. This one's close again. They're not going to bring in the game this time. Yep. Third and inches here for Galax. 
from right around the Grayson eight yard line with two wide receivers and an eye formation back, Phil Pickett. Has a snap, turns, hands it off, hit immediately. That's Peoples getting in there to bring down Dougie Peoples. Gage Peoples on the stop, the linebacker for Grayson County. That's a big hit there in the backfield. Now, it's a difference in spelling of the two names. Dougie's P-E-O-P-L-E-S, and Gage is P-E-E-P-L-E-S. What's your difference there? Eight and a half minutes left to play here in the third quarter. A lot of people's around here, isn't it, I think? So 8.31 to be exact left on the third quarter clock. Now they're going to do a measurement here. First down. Got enough again. So it'll be first and goal, Galax, from the Grayson County seven yard line. Sounds like they're doing the uh, drawing for the raffle tickets. Scalax gets set to go for it here. First and goal from the seven. Pickett dropped under center, scans the defense. Offset eye formation, backfield handoff. There goes Dougie Peoples. Another running play, trying to squeeze it through the running lane that opened up between right guard and right tackle. Will be taken down. He was able to get to the five yard line, yes. Gain of two, second and goal coming up for Galax. 7.58 left to play here in the third quarter. Galax and Grayson County tied up at seven. Pick it. We'll hand it off. Making a cut, turning the corner, throwing the stiff arm. Peoples, and he's headed to the end zone. How did he break free of that tackle? And he got in. I don't never know. That is Dougie Peoples. Spilling the defender there to the outside. After throwing the stiff arm, he was all over his back. And he somehow rumbles into the end zone. Give him six. Caxton Vault will kick the PAT to snap it. Will be Peyton Price. And Josh Perlin will hold. There's a snap. Laces four. Kick is up. In a good spot. And it is through the upright. Oh, and there good. comes a the late flag. Caxton Vault. It's going to be a roughing the kicker. Okay, against Grayson County. So that PAT will stand. He'll tack it on Running to the, the uh, ensuing kick. Running into the kicker is the call. 7.46 to play here in the third quarter. Galax leading Grayson County 14-7 on your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. Back after this. Mountain Linen Services is your full-service linen company. Serving Galax the twin rounding area. Mountain Linen Services specializes in towels, aprons, gowns, kitchen apparel, dust control items like mops, and doorway entrance mats. We even do tablecloth rentals for weddings and special occasions. Give Mountain Linen Services a call at 276-236-0141. That's 276-236-0141. 276-236-0141. Mountain Linen Services, a proud sponsor of Galax Maroon Tide athletics in our local sports broadcast. Tell them your WCGX sports team sent you. are upon us, it's time to take your vehicle to Twin County Tire and Automotive today. Let their knowledgeable and friendly staff winterize your vehicle and get you a new set of tires for the winter months to keep you safe. Twin County Tire and Automotive is your locally owned and operated full service facility offering all major brands for all makes and models. Trustworthy, honest, and fair, Twin County Tire and Automotive will give you the best deal on tires. Twin County Tire and Automotive, downtown Galax, right across from the police department. Call 276-236-0007. That's 276-236-0007. 276-236-0007. Welcome you back here to Independence, your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week. 7.46 left to play in the third quarter. Galax now leading Grayson 14-7 on a five-yard touchdown run from Dougie Peoples. Then you had a running into the kicker call on the PAT, which was successful from Caxton Vault. So you tack on the penalty yard, so Galax will get to kick here from the opposite 40-yard line. So 40 yards, you can kick it into the end zone right here instead of their own 40. And we'll 
kick it right here. Blue Devils territory. Wow. <laughs> Big advantage, huh? <laughs> Was it 15 yards then? Yeah, I think so. Or 20. <laughs> Here's the kick on the way, and that will be a touchback. <laughs> I think it's the first touchback of the year. <laughs> no, not one of your normal locations to kick from. So now it's time it. to make some tackles. There you go. Play some strong defense here. 7.46 left to go in the third quarter. Galax leading 14-7. Dougie Peoples adding a five-yard touchdown run in the first half. Midway through the second, he caught a screen pass from Cole Pickett. Went, it, or went and took it the distance, 78 yards to the house. So here we go. First and 10, Grayson from its old 20-yard line. And running play, that is Levi Johnson, I would assume, pounding the ball forward right there. With defenders all over his back. That's, check that, 21, Dawson Allen, sophomore, 5'8", 135. Oh, man, he had about, what, three or four defenders on his back there. He's still carrying him uh, for the first down right there. Jack Galak seems to be playing on their back hills. That's not good. So gain of 11 there from Allen on that running play. You know, back to the ground here. Slamming the ball forward goes the ball carrier. And he yeah. may have got a yard. He did. After they did this. Two. Gave him a good spot. Second and eight coming up for Grayson County. That was Johnson that time. When Galax does that, whenever they stuff it like that, watch for a play fake. That's whenever they've been throwing those passes. It's shortly after they stuff the run up the middle, they'll exactly do right. a fake up the middle. Roll out pass. And they've Let's got two they good wideouts, too. McPherson at 6 3 and Phillips at 6 2. Here's a running play in between the hash marks. Pounding the ball forward is the ball carrier for Grayson County, and they go back to the ground attack again. Looks like Johnson again on that carry for Grayson County. So you got third down coming up, third and five for the Blue Devils from their own. 36-yard line. They need to cross the 41 for a first down. So third and five, Grayson County, 6-10 left to play in the third quarter. Galax leading Blue Devils 14-7. Hollingsworth scans it. Defense split backfield. Twin receivers to the near side. Hollingsworth takes the snap. Rolls out. Option. Tucks and runs. Quarterback keeper Reynolds with the hit. And he's got the first down for the Blue Devils, running it along the near hash marks on the quarterback sneak. Yeah, kind of ran up an option to the right side here and had three wideouts blocking for him, and it worked wonderful. Boy, they're sneaky quick, aren't they, Grayson? They just they are get around that line and just shoot like it was a shot out of a cannon. And they spread you out well, and they're tough to bring down. It's like we said, grease pigs, like they got old or grease <laughs> on the and they can't, can't wrap up. Hollingsworth dropped under center with a split backfield and two wideouts. First and 10, Grayson from their own 44-yard line. And Galax will hit him hard. Johnson is hit, stuffed, and thrown back here. Christian Brown leading the charge there for the Galax Maroon Tide defense. Wow. Give it for progress. Yard. Got him a yard there out of the hat. I don't see that at all. <laughs> they hit him way quicker than I thought. Oh, no. Wow. Second down and I nine. They, I knew they threw him backward, yeah. but I still, that was a good you. yard. I couldn't believe that. Well, they smothered him right there. Second and nine for Grayson County from its own 45. Hollingsworth looks, looks, dances around. We'll throw it to the near side. And it is caught, fought for by Phillips, and he pulls it in. That's going to be wrestled that ball away, away from Dixon. Dixon. We do have penalty flags. What do you What do you got here? Got a pass interference on Landon Dixon. Uh, it was going to be. They were hand fighting, but it was definitely pass interference. And that'll set Grayson County up with good field position. Penalties it is against the Maroon Tide. I'll take it from the way he caught the ball. Excellent catch. It was. 
a way to wrestle that ball away. Yeah, but they were caught up pretty hard. I think they told him at the half to kind of jam him, but you can, if you jam him, you jam him at the line, you don't jam him 10 yards down the line. But that's kind of hard to understand. Left to play here in the third quarter. Receiver to the near side to split backfield. Hollingsworth from the Galax 42. And he will keep it himself. And hit hard late there by Christian Brown. It got him to the turf. Helping well, out right there for the Maroon Tide. Defensive tackle for the Maroon Tide. It's a gain of one on the quarterback. Sneak second down and nine for Grayson from the Maroon Tide 41. Grayson's been playing with a, a chip on their shoulder a little bit, and I think Galax has come out with a little bit more chippiness themselves. Uh, as long as it doesn't get into ugly play, we're good. Split backfield, two wide outs, Hollingsworth, two-step drop, slings it, and it is incomplete. Well covered Beautiful by play. Galax. That was a quick toss. Zinging it out across the middle was Hollingsworth, his intended target was McPherson, number two. Yeah, Blake Brown breaks that up, and he makes a great break on the ball. Uh, he was just out to tackle the wide receiver if he caught it, and that separated the wide receiver from the ball. Good time. Saw Reynolds there Blake behind Brown. defending. He nearly had a chance for an interception if it was in the right spot. 3.51 left to play in the third quarter. It's third down and nine for Grayson County. And a crucial drive here deep in the third quarter. From the Galax 41, Hollingsworth looking to throw. Dancing around, looks left, now turns right, tosses it down the field, had a receiver in stride, in triple coverage, incomplete. Fourth down and nine coming up for Grayson County. Looks like they're bringing in the punting unit. Good stop for Galax right there. Going to try to pin down. the Maroon top deep. Finally, our defense locked up there. As soon as Grayson got it into Maroon Tide territory, after Phillips made that sensational catch, wrestling oh, it away from Landon catch. Dixon. Looks like the drive will end here for Grayson County. We'll punt it away to Galax. All kinds of time to get this one off. And it'll be taken from the 10-yard line, return to the 20, making a cut is Dixon, and he's hit at around the 23-yard line. A host of... Blue Devils in there to Going to block in the back on Cole Pickett. Take him down. After a return of 13 yards to block in the back here, you'd say, against Cole Pickett. And on that play, I, he backed off. He really did. He didn't really plow him. And the guy kind of was backing up back into him, but they're going to get him for it. Put get him back every inside time. the 10 there. He threw his hands up, too, and that'll always throw a flag normally. 15-yard penalty. That's a national championship in 93. Yeah. The, uh, the Huskers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember that. Yeah, he threw his up, and he didn't even touch the guy. Hey, I used to pay a little attention in Nebraska football. Then. All right, 15-yard penalty. We'll set it up here for you. Grayson County. After the punt, we had block in the back against Cole Pickett after a 13-yard return from the 10-yard line to the 23 by Dixon. Wipe away the return, bring it back to the 8. First and 10 Galax from its own 8-yard line. Here's a running play. Dougie Peoples has stood up and thrown to the turf right there. Body slammed back to the grass. Grayson County getting in the backfield there, bursting through to plaster. Galax the senior tailback. Yeah, on, on that play, that was just blown up pretty good. You know, on that penalty, uh, S Steve asked me to give some wisdom from Wyoming. These penalties are like spitting into the wind. It never works out too good. Always comes back to get you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Karma. <laughs> 2.53 left to play here in the third quarter. No gain on that running play from Peoples. Second and 10 from the eight for Galax. In the backfield, all alone, squeezing through his peoples, banging off of a defender, and a carry to the 15 yard line for Galax. Penalty flags. Gonna be a penalty at the end of the play. on, it should be on Grayson. He was, there a lot of extracurricular number about 20. To say. Yep. Peoples there. Peoples on peoples. 
but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, there's extracurricular activity in that pile of humanity, that's for sure. The officials are all over top of it. Out. Ooh. Offsetting penalties there, personal foul. On, uh, both. Penalize both teams. Yep. I'm thinking that this was a dead ball, so they sort of bring up the down the count, sort of bring up. They the give run. Dougie Peoples his running play right there. Or he was able, he was able to collect uh, six yards. Third down and a long three coming up here for Galax. Really seven yards for Peoples. Third and three here for Galax. It'd be a big stop for the Grayson County defense if they can hold true here. Play action rollout. Here's Pickett. Ooh. Toss looking for Sperlin. Batted away. Well defended there on the outside by the ball hawking secondary led by McPherson. He does have an interception in this game. He's got eight on the season. And now fourth down coming up. Galax will have to punt it back to the Blue Devils up 14 to seven. 213 left to play in the third quarter. Phillips and McPherson deep here for Grayson County. And we assume at the end of this kick, it will be in Blue Devils territory where Grayson County will have it. And there's the kick from Sperlin. We'll take a couple of bounces and we'll be down at around the 42, maybe the 43 yard line. We'll see where they spot it. Galax Gunners got down the field quickly there. Spotted at the 43 for There's Grayson County in between the hash marks in Maroon Tide territory. Kick kept interference, I believe, on Galax. We'll see here. Isn't that yellow flag I'm seeing at about the 46? Yeah, I think, I think so. Let's see. It came out late. That's why I didn't know. Yes, it is a flag. See what they got here. Kick catch interference. Yep. Man. There we go, spitting into the wind again. <sighs> I tell you. It's only a five yard penalty though for that. I'll set it up now. First and ten from the thirty-eight. In Galax territory for the Blue Devils with a split backfield receiver to the near side. Hollingsworth takes a snap, turns, hands it off. Here's Levi Johnson slamming the ball forward. It's Christian Brown trying to rip it free, the nose tackle. Johnson stood up after a gain of a yard. Second and nine coming up for Grayson County from its uh, the uh, Galax 37. 140 left to play here in the third quarter. Galax leading Grayson 14 to seven. Grayson County is in no hurry. Hollingsworth went over to the sidelines to get the next play call. Then got them huddled up. Now they'll get set up here in formation. Now the second down and nine from the Galax 37. We'll send a man in motion. We'll line up trips to the near side. We've got a whistle here. Stoppage of play. I think the officials wanted to clarify something know what it might be about. The lay of game. Oh, I didn't see any flags thrown there. I, saw, I thought I it was getting close. close. I thought it was getting close to delay a game there, Tim. I was looking for a play clock, but I didn't see one. So, huh, never threw a flag, so. I think he did at the yeah. deep there. Made the signal or something. Second down and 14 to go here for Grayson. From right around the 43-yard line. Quick drop back and throw. Zinging it near side is Hollingsworth. We got a couple of players there to the near side. Galax is battling with them. And Dixon really got aggressive. Well, he Allen got hit aggressively. McPherson, yeah. Looking for penalty flags, and they're not going to get it. Well, it should have been a block in the back on Grayson, because actually blo the block was in his back. Trying to set up a wide receiver screen, so you yeah. take a block in the back there. Yeah, well, because hold on Dixon, I think, I think Dixon got there quicker than that guy was expecting, and so he right. just hit him anyway. All right, crucial third and long here for Grayson. 110 left to play in 
the third quarter. And not many opportunities. You start in daylight yes, territory. Sir. And that's a huge hit. They're going to try to throw it. Wide receiver toss play there. Dixon with a bone jarring hit on Phillips. <laughs> he tried to heave it up the field there. And is incomplete. So fourth down coming up. Are you four down territory? Do you go for it if you're Grayson here? It looks like they're going to. But I'm going to tell you what, on Dixon, <laughs> Dixon he, had a, <laughs> well, he had a wide receiver. He just released him, and he came flying to get that swing pass. He, he read that one all the way. That was I think it's a play. smart year. Grayson will punt the football away. Low snap, line drive kick. We'll take one or two bounces wow. there. It will be fielded, scooped up, returned far side. Dixon looking for space. Here he goes. Spins out of a tackle, still up on his feet, and will finally be pulled down. And we've got a bunch of penalty flags on the field here. And we'll Come see what it is coming back up. on Galax, half a distance to the goal. Wow. 49 seconds left in the third quarter. And a lot of chippiness, but we expected that. <laughs> These two teams to be aggressive. A lot of penalties, though, on our side, but. <laughs> you pay the price sometimes, I guess. It is a really physical game. It's a half a distance to the goal line here on the block in the back. Second time that's happened in as many returns. 49 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. First and 10 Galax from the three yard line. As they send a man in motion to the right. Here's a running play up the middle. Goes Dougie Peoples dragging defenders. He's got a Galax first down. It's out across the 15. They may spot this one at the 17-yard line. We'll see where, where they put the football here. That would be a running play of 14 yards for Dougie. Yeah, boy, he shot through. Mark that him at the 16, so he did. Give him 13 on that carry for the senior tailback, Dougie Peoples. Coming into this game, he was... Just over 1,500 yards rushing on the season. And to go along with what, 27 touchdowns? I think you're right. Yep, he had a good year. 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. Galax out of the Wildcat. Peoples will take the high snap. We'll give it on the end of round play. And here we go. A lot of space turning it up the field. Exploding into the secondary goes Caxton Vault with a running play up to and a Past midfield. Wow. Beautiful play by Caxton Vaughn. That jet sweep out of the Wildcat. That was nice. And that will set Galax up first and 10 in Blue Devils territory. On the 43 yard line. Ball in the far hash with seven seconds left in the third quarter. Galax leading Grayson County 14 to 7. That this will be the be final huge. play of the third quarter. We'll step aside, take a break, be back to your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week after this. Keys Incorporated has been serving our community for 25 years with prompt professional service. Keys Incorporated has complete septic service like pump and repair, and we manufacture septic tanks. See us for excavation and land clearing, ditching and ponds, site prep, installation of new tanks and field lines, and sewer line repairs. Keys Incorporated has same-day service to commercial and residential customers in Galax, the Twin Counties, and surrounding area. Call Keys Incorporated at 27. 276-236-9277. That's 276-236-9277. Twin County Regional Healthcare in Daylight. A variety of superior rehabilitative services, both inpatient and outpatient. For patients who've suffered serious illness or injury, the highly trained physical, occupational, and speech therapists provide quality therapy along with a nurturing atmosphere. Their goal is to restore their patients to full productive lives. The rehabilitation services of Twin County Regional Health Care in Galax are a Duke LifePoint affiliate. For more info, check them out online at tcrh.org. That's tcrh.org. tcrh.org. This year, if yeah. I kill any... All right, here we go. <laughs> Talking deer hunting. <laughs> yes, we are. First day of muzzleloaders tomorrow in North Carolina. I'm itching. <laughs> Ready for it. Well, it's Virginia, too. I think it opens up yeah, there tomorrow, is. too. That's true. That's right. All right, Galax. We're getting that wildcat look. Twin receivers to the near side. We'll send Dixon in motion that way to line up trips. 
Fake the end around. There's a snap. Dougie Peoples running into the numbers near side. He'll get hit hard and thrown back after picking up five, maybe six yards. Give him six on that carry. Second down and four for Galax coming up here as we just getting underway the start of the fourth quarter. Galax 14, Grayson County 7. Hey, I invite you to listen to Beaching with Betty here on the Cat WCGX. That's at 12 noon every weekday, Monday through Thursday. Here we go. Dougie Peoples fakes the jet sweep, keeps it himself, fighting, battling for the yardage. Got to hold on to the football. Ball football is free. He spilled the football there. Galax coughed up it up, up, and Galax recovered. Looks like Christian Brown will need fumble recovery there for Galax. Now across the sticks and move the chains. Here's what I got to say about that. Early in the game, whenever Grayson guys were being stood up like Dougie was, they were blowing the whistle. On that one, they waited forever to allow them to strip the ball. Kind of interesting. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. First and 10, Galax from the Grayson County, 29. Evans checks into the game as the quarterback. High formation backfield. They'll send Dixon in motion to the right. We'll line up as an offset tight end near side. And slamming the ball forward up the gut is Dougie Peoples. And that'll be a pickup of five yards. Actually, gain of four. Check that. Second and six coming up here for Galax from the Grayson County 25 yard line. Ball in between the hash marks as the tide break the huddle. 10 18 left to play in the game. Galax leading Grayson 14 to 7. Galax back in the Wildcat. Tuck and run. Keeper by Peoples. And Grayson County read that one perfectly. Wreaking havoc as they get in the backfield and hit Dougie Peoples. And that'll be a loss of yardage. Loss of three. The third and nine Galax from the Grayson County 28. 948 left to play here in the game. Galax trying to get back into that Fender's body shop and towing red zone here. It'll just be the second time tonight. Evans dropped under center after scanning the defense. Peoples is a lone setback as they send. Dixon in motion, fake the jet sweep. Evans looks, now takes off, tuck and run to the numbers, far side, and he is going to be pulled down just shy of first down markers there on the outside. Communication error. He, he comes out and he looks left, and there's not a wide receiver there at all. And, and so he has, that had, yeah, he has had to run. It was a best of play. I don't know if that was the quarterback or if that was... Uh, the wide receiver not being where he needed to be, but that was a busted play, and he did really good to get as much yards as he did. All right, fourth down and about a long three here. Evans barks off the signals. Fourth and three from the 22 of Grayson County, and we've got penalty flags here. Going to be 24 for false start. start against Galax. Good thing you're in four down territory here. Slightly you could argue away. neutral zone it. Um, yeah. Infraction. Because they did jump whenever he went up. All right, so fourth and eight now for Galax. It looks like the Grayson County 27 yard line. Galax will huddle up and talk this one over. Eight and a half minutes left to play. Clock, clock, clock. I think Galax is going for a delay of game, possibly. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. Well, why would you do that? I don't know. That. I know. It's confusing for sure, these signals that these officials are giving out here tonight. Well, I mean, I trust Coach Dixon. Yeah, and the crowd, too, standing up over here. 
Thanks uh, for everybody to I, see in the press box too. So. Coach Dixon knows football and he huddled right. his team up for some reason. He did. Uh, now, now it's fourth and 13 Galax from the Grayson 32. Now they're going to have to punt the football away. Grayson brings pressure, almost got there. And let's see if that can stay in. Tossed back. But it is in now the end. Now for the true whistle, Hal. He blew that whistle before our guy tried throw, throwing it back in, and it hadn't been dead yet. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, because it's confusing I mean, the clock, the PA, us. I, I mean, you know, there are all these signals, and they're just not – can't figure out what they're trying to do. And then you get delays of games, and they don't know when to stop and start the clock. It just makes it confusing for sure. <laughs> A good football game nonetheless. And Grayson County gets it back here. We'll start first and 10 from its old 20. Ball in between the hash marks. Split backfield. Twin receivers to the near side. 8.06 left to play. Galax up by a touchdown. And the football is free. Let's see who recovered. Hollingsworth coughed it up right there. Oh, bummer. Literally let that one get away from him, and it is recovered by Grayson County's number 75. That is Isaac Jones on the fumble recovery. Works for two yards, second down and eight to the 22-yard line for Grayson. If you're the Blue Devils, you got to score on this drive. Twin receivers on the outside. Hollingsworth with a split backfield two-step drop. Looking right. Now takes off. Flushed out. Will tuck and run. He's out of a tackle. Dives forward. <sighs> Scrambling play to the outside towards the Maroon Tide sidelines. Creeping that direction. I'm going to say a hold on grazing. Gonna, yeah, it's going to set up now third and about four, maybe five yards coming up. And now the officials are talking this over. Do have penalty flags, right? Or yeah, it's holding on the far side there. there. Yeah, there's the penalty flag at around the 35. Yeah. Up the field. At this level. Oh, double hold. Defensive holding. Both. Double offsetting. So both teams. So at this level, uh, whenever you extend a play like that. Uh, usually you can get a uh, high school for holding and if you want to call it. Right. So offsetting penalties, yes. they're on holding. Do you give him the yardage there or replay the down? Replay the down. That's all right. One way or the other. Split backfield. Here's Hollingsworth. Barks off the signal, sends a man in motion to the right. Hollingsworth will drop back, will hand it off to Johnson. And he will be wrestled down by number 50, John Key. Oh, may have come free Came again, but he went down by contact. Wow. There goes again that premature whistle, I believe. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's quick as those guys are going the ground. Signal. That's what we've had all night. You know, as quick as they're going to the ground, it. It seems like it would be impossible for them to get it out once they're on the ground. That was a loss of a yard back to the 21. Third and nine, Grayson County with six and a half minutes left to play. Hollingsworth will send a man in motion to the right out of the backfield. Will line up trips that direction. Here's a pitch play, making a cut, turning it upfield, running it to the numbers is the ball carrier for Grayson County. He is hit hard on the outside. Looks like the nose tackle sliding over there. Christian Brown with the help from the free safety, Blake Brown. That was a running play by Allen. And now it'll be fourth down for Grayson County. Fourth and about six to go. Yeah, they tried to go wide on Galax. That's a bad mistake usually. And Galax did a great job playing to the boundaries there. And Grayson will have to punt it away. Line drive kick. It'll be dropped by Dixon. Picks it up at the 45. Return to the 50. 45-40. Runs over to fit. He lost the ball. He spilled it, dropped it to the turf, and it's recovered by Grayson County. Ground what in the that world? You think so? Yes, his elbow hit, and the ball came free. I could see it from here. <laughs> Sadly, we don't have instant replay. Nope, we don't. 
But I'll go by your word. You had a good angle. Oh, I, I did. I totally saw it. He was on the ground. That ball popped free. So he kind of yeah. jumped up out of the pile. I saw him hop out and away up the field there. But it is a fumble recovery by Grayson County. Hollingsworth. Get his team set up here. First and 10 from their own 44-yard line. It looks like a quarterback keeper off the fake there. The fake draw play. And Hollingsworth surges, dives, and leans forward to the 49-yard line. Gain of five. Actually, four. Second and six coming up for Grayson County to the 48. That's where they're going to spot it. Moved it back. Well, like I said, in a rivalry game, you let it go a long way. You never know what can happen. That's right. Five minutes left to play. Galax leading Grayson 14-7. Blue Devils have it, second and six from their own 48-yard line. So right at midfield, Hollingsworth, two-step drop, looks to throw near side, coming back to the football, making the catch and a cut, turning it upfield, McPherson. Wow, way to sidestep the defender right there up the field. He's got a big first down, pass and catch, Hollingsworth to the 6-3 receiver, McPherson. First and 10, Grayson County. From the maroon side, 37-yard line. Ball in the near hash. So there you go, Tim. That pass and catch working for 15 yards. Yeah, that was a good play. I'm telling you, he's a good wide receiver. Well, he shook Landon Dixon out of his shoes. Here's Hollingsworth. Give to Johnson. Trying to slam it forward. And there's the freshman linebacker, Barnes, along with Dixon and strong safety. Another freshman, Keaton Beeman, in there for the Maroon Tide stop. Give him forward progress, gain of a yard. I thought he was no gain there. That's what it looked like. But they gave him a yard. I don't see it. I don't know. Our either. guys have busted through every time. <laughs> you got that right. Second down and seven from the Maroon Tide, 37 for Grayson County. Hollingsworth drops back. Pressure, Galax trying to hit him as he runs it to the near side, 35-yard line, gain of two yards. Peoples wrestles him into the turf at the 35. Hollingsworth in duress, dead to rights, quarterback keeper, gain of two, third and seven coming up for Grayson. You're shaking your head. Well, it's a block in the back. He had him dead to rights, and he gets blocked in the back, and they don't call it. Pocket collapsed. That's yeah, cool. I mean, he. Big time. He was back there on him, and he got hit in the back, and that's what got him that two extra yards. Now, Grayson County lining up with four wideouts. Galax calls Kind of in out. the gun. It's like you're in a shotgun formation, a quarterback under center. And one man in the backfield. You got 334 left to play here, and a timeout called by Galax. Galax, defensive backs here are going to have to come up big with a turnover on a throw, possibly. It's a crucial time right here. You know, Grayson County's really running out of time, trailing by a touchdown. you got to score. In Maroon Tide territory, really they should have had that last drive turn into to some success. They should have found the end zone the last time where they started in Marine well, territory after the short punt. Saul got set up by that fumble by Landon Dixon. Yeah, which is crucial. And it's given the Blue Devils new life, so we'll see what uh, head coach Brett McPherson and the staff will call up here. Third and seven, Grayson County play. from the 35-yard line of Galax. Hollingsworth. With four wide receivers, one man in the backfield will roll out. Looks, will toss it, and it is caught at the 30-yard line. Short. Taking it to the 28, just shy of the first down marker. Is number 82, looks like Phillips there on the catch for Grayson County. Oh, It'll now be there. fourth down and one. Fourth and one, Grayson County. From the he was hit 28. At the 31, they gave him 31 and a half. Well, I'm sorry, 28 and a half. Yeah. I was looking the other way. 
So the spot's good here. He caught it at around the 30. So I fourth and one good, here. Man. Split backfield. They're bunched up. Extra blockers up front. Running play. Slamming it forward. He's got the first down, I believe. Oh, he'll have the progress. Down. That is number 20, Peoples. The hog molly fullback there. 5'8", 180-pound junior. Move the chains for Grayson County. 239 left to play. Well, that's a good hey, ball game, isn't it, Hal? It is. A very good ball good game. They like leading Grayson 14 to 7. First and 10 Blue Devils from their own 27 yard line. Ball in the far hash here. Blue Devils will huddle up here in no hurry. 225 left to play. Clock is rolling. Split backfield. Twin receivers to the near side will send a man in motion out of the backfield to the right. As they uh -oh. give it up the middle, the ball carrier is tripped up. Touchdown saving tackle. He burst it into the secondary right there. That was Levi Johnson for a gain of eight yards. Second down and two coming up here for Grayson from the 19-yard line of Galax. Ball on the far hash. I say Grayson will go for a two-point conversion if they score. I can see that. Running play. Give to the ball carrier. Looks like Johnson again pounding it forward. It is number 22, Levi Johnson. First down, Grayson County to the Galax. 15. 142 left to go. What a drive here. Been set up by the Caxton Vault fumble on the punt return. Fixing. That was Wasn't it was Vault. Oh. No, Caxton Vault, number five. Here we go. First and 10, Grayson from the Galax 15, a split backfield running play. No, or no, it's a fake throw. End zone. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, what a catch. Play and jump ball. He went up and grabbed it over two defenders. That was Phillips, his second touchdown of the night. 15-yard pass play. Hollingsworth to Phillips. Holy cow. 120 left to go here. It is 14 to 13. Now, what will Grayson do? Go on for they two. have gone for two several times this year. I think you got to kick the PAT because there's still a lot of time left. It was at the end of the game, I could see it. But Grayson will burn a timeout here to talk it over. Go now, down, go to. The fans want to. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you this. Hollingsworth has got one. McPherson has got one. Johnson has one. They've converted three two-point conversions this year. 120 to go. 14 to 13, Grayson County. So a lot is hanging on this game here tonight. Galax loses, they fall. It would be number two in the playoffs. They're out of the Region 1C standing, so they would take on the number seven seed. If Grayson wins tonight, they automatically get into the playoffs. They may get a seven seed with a win here tonight. Now if they lose, they gotta have help from either Richlands or Lee. They, one of those teams would have to lose. I think Galax has to play a field goal safe right here. You know what I'm saying? Sure Don't try to block it. Sure thing. Wyatt will kick, attempt the PAT to tie the game up. They're not going to go for two. Watch for the fake. Kick is up, pressure from Galax, and it is through the uprights and good. Ties it up at 14. We've got a good one, folks. Stay tuned. 120 left to play here. Galax 14, Grayson County 14. Your City of Galax Tourism Game of the Week will be back after this. 
Bridge Tire and Galax supports all high school athletes. We want your family safe and protected while traveling, so let Blue Ridge Tire take care of all your automotive needs. New tires, tire maintenance, tune-ups, inspections to overall maintenance. You'll appreciate the great service, affordability, and dedication of Blue Ridge Tire, your hometown garage chosen number one in the Twin Counties for auto repair and oil changes. Call Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive, 276-238-0011. That's 276-238-0011. Blue Ridge Tire and Automotive in Gaylock. Make tailgating, team celebrations, parties, and other occasions extra special with Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the easy choice, offering a selection of fresh, delicious food and party platters for your occasion and guests. Chick-fil-A ensures that your order is correct, ready to be picked up or delivered. Put your game face on and score big at your next tailgate party event with crowd-pleasing favorites from your tailgating headquarters. Chick-fil-A, Highway 601 in Mount Airy. Chick-fil-A, eat both chicken. Welcome you back here. So it was Landon Dixon with the fumble on that punt return. And we've got a short squib kick. Galax ought to let that one go out of bounds. It was close. Dougie Peoples looks like on the return here for the Maroon side. It was one of those that Playing was stopping. Up man there, returns it to the 38-yard line. Well, it was stopping. I don't think it would have gone Check out. That, 28. What's that? Uh, it was stopping right there. I don't think it was going to go on out. It was, to it was starting to, to, yeah, it was starting to, it's hard to tell. lose its momentum. I couldn't see it, but this crowd and the band right there. I <laughs> had a big tuba in my way. <laughs> One seventeen left to go here. One, 117 left. First and 10 Galax. From its own 28-yard line ball in the near hash. Peoples in the Wildcat with Brown on his left hip. We'll send Caxton Vault in motion. We'll give it to him on the jet sweep. Caxton Vault to the outside, running it to the numbers, and he's thrown back. It's going to be a loss of a couple of yards. Second down and 12 coming up. And 103 left to play. Clock is rolling here. Down to a minute. So loss of just one on the spot. Second down and 11 for Galax from their own 27-yard line. Evans dropped under center, fakes. Roll out, bootleg, tuck and run, and he's hit hard! Oh, he was plastered, nailed into the turf by Peoples. That's Gage Peoples, number 20, the linebacker for Grayson County, with a huge hit. Evans was like a sitting duck right there. Nowhere to go, and nobody to pitch it to. 20 seconds to play. It'll be third down and 13 coming up from the 25. Galax breaks the huddle. We're tied up at 14. Peoples out of the wildcat. We'll send Dixon in motion to the right. We'll keep himself. Peoples to the outside, to the 30, and he is taken down, pulled from behind. And down to the turf he goes, and on that stop was Levi Johnson. The big tackle, the fine play of what? Regulation. <laughs> Regulation. <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> All right, so that was the last play of regulation. So we will get ready for overtime, and we are not going anywhere. We're going to start at the 10-yard line for each team, correct? It's 25 in the co college, and it's 10, I think, on the high school. It's 10, wrong. isn't it? Yeah. I think they start at the 10-yard line for both teams. I think you're right. They will have a coin toss, I think, and then they'll decide. Most teams, if they win the coin toss, go on defense. So then they know what they need to do. Um, and then if they I'm kick telling the you right down, now, Galax, if they're going to want to win this ball game, they better, I don't know. They, <laughs> they have got to get something going there on that sidelines because there's a lot of miscommunication right now, and they're not playing smart. They're not playing discipline. Crucial fumbles. Not taking care of the football right now, and the defense is is really looks like Galax right. won the toss. So they're gonna pick. We're gonna yeah. 
Galax is kind of coming into this overtime. They got to be hungry and they got to want this. So and they're not wanting gonna... it right now. Grayson does. Grayson looks like they're going to get the ball first. Yeah. So Grayson is really wanting this and they're feeding off the, the crowd here. I think so. And they, they, they've decided to take the ball. I think, ball I think so. So Galax wins the toss and elects to take the ball first. Which so they is at the 10 yard line. But as we start overtime. At 10 but what are, your, what are your thoughts here? What are you thinking? I mean, Galax is being taken out of this game right now. Well, I don't yeah. see him winning this game unless something changes. Well, Gr Grayson's had the ball too long in this fourth quarter. That uh, key fumble there was the biggest part of that. Galax was on track to win this game, and then they get the ball at the 40-yard line, and they just march. And they've actually kept the ball out of Galax's offense's hands. I think we only had one touch in that uh, fourth quarter, or second, two touches in that fourth quarter. So, All right, looks like Galax won the toss and elected to play defense. Well, the way they said, uh, they did this. I know. I know. The refs, they've had all sorts of weird communication. Maybe they let them change their mind or something we don't know about. Like that? But regardless, I mean, I'd rather play defense so you know what you got to do. That's a smart thing to do, win the toss. So here we go. First and goal. So we start the overtime period here. And a little one-step drop and end zone. And just like that, it is called for a touchdown. As the quarterback, Hollingsworth, whipped pile on there, and he found his big target. The near side, that is McPherson with his first touchdown catch of the ball game. That was easy. Yeah, this that throwing in the end zone area has killed Galax. And now Wyatt will attempt the PAT here. For Grayson County, it is all Blue Devils right now. They want it bad. Wyatt's kick is up, and that kick is good. 21 to 14, Blue Devils. It'll be Galax's turn on offense. One play, end zone, 10-yard pass to McPherson from Hollingsworth. We'll be back after this. Isom Collision and Custom Paint, your hometown specialist for collision repair and custom paint projects. With their computerized estimates, you will easily understand all of your car's needs. Their technicians are experienced and trained using today's technology. A frame machine with computerized measuring and two bank cycle paint booths enables them to get your vehicle back to factory condition. Isom Collision, located one mile from I-77 between Jeff Johnson Chevrolet and Horizon Rental. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Call 276-728-4330 to schedule an appointment today. That's 276-728-4330. Isom Collision and Custom Paint supporting Tide Pride. Some of the most enjoyable activities that can be experienced are simple ones. A ride down a country road, a delicious meal, a glimpse into culture from long ago, and the music of the mountains. These are some of the simple pleasures you can experience with a visit to Galax, Virginia. To learn more about the many fun things to do in Galax, stop by the Visitor Center at 110 East Grayson Street or visit us on the web at visitgalax.com. Visitgalax.com, that's visitgalax.com. We are a proud sponsor of Maroon Tide Athletics and wish all of our sports teams the best of luck and go Tide. Okay. See Back to the action. Peoples makes a cut, runs it to the far hash marks for only a gain of two. Second and goal coming up here for Galax from the eight-yard line. Hollingsworth found McPherson. One toss for ten yards. And he scored right there at the front pile on. Galax second and goal from the eight. Evans is the quarterback. People's in the backfield, and a timeout called here by Galax. They've got Ethan Robinson into the game playing wide receiver. He was lined up to the near side, Tim. What do you do here if you're Galax? You're back against the wall here. I mean, momentum is clearly on the Blue Devils' side here. We're just being taken out of this game. You need a play-action pass or a middle screen, something to that effect, where it would uh, get them off balance because they're, they're attacking everything they're doing is an attacking defense 
and you go right at an attacking defense with a like like a screen a screen pass is all I can think that would be really good for Galax right now is is to come out and swing or something and then have a or a middle screen right at the middle. I know they're putting it on Dougie Peoples, but he has to have some line help. Uh, and he hasn't had much of that. I mean, that's evident. He had three yards, and they pulled it back one extra yard. But I would say some kind of a screen pass would be great for the Galax Maroon Tide. But we'll see what we got here. We got Blake Brown in the backfield now. And Peoples out wide. And Hutchins offset tight end. We'll send him to the left to actually check that. That's Barnes. Evans drops back, throws. Oh, man, wide open. And he's in. Touchdown. That's Noah Hutchins. Play action pass work too. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so that was not Barnes, and that was Hutchins. Sometimes <laughs> he gets them confused. <laughs> but it is Noah Hutchins on the touchdown catch. Play action fake. A drop back. Evans finding his tight end, Noah Hutchins. Way to get that touchdown back. It was called back earlier. Yeah, for sure. Now let's see what and they do. is going to go going for two to try to win the game. I knew it. Won him a state title, didn't it, two years ago. Evans will drive back. We'll look. We'll toss it. It's on. And he hold. No, he didn't. Incomplete. It is incomplete. And Grayson County has upset Galax. Dixon couldn't hang on to it. Grayson County has upset the Maroon Tide 21 to 20. And they are on the field. In jubilation, jumping around, everybody storming the field here. Holy cow. Wow, what a game. 21 to 20, Galax electing to go for two to try to win it. And it is unsuccessful after the touchdown catch from Hutchins. We will step aside, take a timeout break. We'll come back. We'll start your Isom Collision and Custom Paint recap show. Stay tuned. Treat yourself to a meal Galax Tasty Freeze. Established in 1978, the Galax Tasty Freeze is a nostalgic, cruise-in, and local favorite. Serving up fabulous $5 daily specials, the best dog basket in town, and yummy shakes and ice cream. The Galax Tasty Freeze has everything from pizza and hamburger steaks to chicken and barbecue and hot dog and hamburger combos. So call in your tailgate special on the way to the game, ready in 20 minutes, 276-236-5095. 276-236-5095. The Galax Tasty Freeze on South Main Street, Highway 89 in Galax, Virginia. Galax Tasty Freeze, let us do the cooking while you have the fun. High Country Service Funerals and Cremations, located at 600 Glendale Road, Galax, Virginia. Providing the Galax and Twin County area with the most modern funeral home at the lowest prices in Southwest Virginia. High Country Service brings to you a new tradition in 